capture to attract attention, while Vornas and his team on the barge would board from one side, while your warband would attack from the other. In the darkness of the Underhive, you were able to climb onto the structure without issue, but once the alarm was raised, uh, dozens of cultists ran out to intercept you. The ritual atop the structure was hastened when your presence was detected, and before you could stop it, uh, terrifying screams and otherworldly laughter marked the end of the cultists' spell. Despite this, he fought on, and the cultists began yet another ritual. Uh, Vornas, Victor, and several others held the larger cult's attention while the rest of you rushed up to the landing pad to fight the leader. You watched the cult leader slip away, leaving the four of you to fight against a Herald of Nurgle. It acted chaotically and had apparently been crushing cultists until your group appeared. Uh, the sight of such a demon caused you to shit pant, but you remembered how to stop being stunned, so you did that. Uh, primarily Titania used overwhelming warp power to set the monster on fire and melt it. Uh, the rest of you couldn't do a whole lot, so you mostly just bought time for your Psyker, with Scythia valiantly stepping forward and being crushed through the floor. Uh, eventually, the demon was immolated and defeated and pulled back into the Immaterium. A quick check on Scythia revealed she was alive, but in no condition to fight, uh, as the demon was banished, but many cultists remained, and as you head headed back downstairs, you found that Volas and Victor uh, were fighting against the head cultist, as well as many undead that had been summoned from within. An endless tide of poxwalkers uh, drowned Victor until it was just Vornas locked in mortal combat, his power sword against the four staff of the heretic. It was clear you wouldn't be able to fight off all the undead, so you decided to snipe the cult leader and moments from being overrun by all of the boxwalkers, uh, you managed to slay him and the warp energy left all of the boxwalkers. They returned to being corpses, uh, the last few cultists were swiftly dealt with, and the group's survivors gathered to strategize. Uh, Victor had suffered a severe stomach wound, and was in worse condition than Scythia actually. Uh, Vornas didn't care about the cult's activities, so you were allowed to take any valuable items you wanted. Uh, foremost, the Xeno artifact that caused this all. And also a false stuff. For a moment, you considered taking down Vornas Crimson, leader of the infamous Red Walker gang, but thought otherwise in your weakened state. Uh, used the barge you rode in on to return to Gantry, where Scythia and Victor recovered it enough to be able to walk back to the Gallows Way. And there, within the Purity Gate, you received proper medical care under the watch of the Sanctionaries for your grievous wounds, as well as uh, you'll, all of you have sustained horrible diseases uh, since your time being exposed to the Underhive and the Sump River. But it's been it's been a couple weeks since then. We've all since recovered, diseases and wounds included. Uh, during your stay in the Purity Gate, the Sanctionaries considered assaulting Gantry while the Red Walk were weakened, but they stayed to their hand at your advice. Uh, eventually, when you were all back in good health, you were able to Return to the Upper Hive, thankful to be away from the darkness of the Lower Hive. Uh, you had a short amount of time to do your requisitions, and your time off was short-lived as... But a day later, you received a message from Oath Captain Nils, informing you that she had discovered a crime scene eerily similar to the last. Knowing your duty to the Imperium of Man, take the elevator back down to the lower hive, and return to the Gallows Way to meet with the Oath Cap. It is time. Mm -hmm.
together, you're back in the Keller's way. Low comes back looking like a drug gunner and straight out of dark side. <laughs> <laughs> I have simply started wearing guard armor. You're wearing yeah. my guard armor, which is it doesn't <laughs> fit properly. Y'all you are a lot less subtle now. We weren't subtle before. Oh, are you part of the guard? Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you descend the elevator straight into Gallows Way. And, uh, there, just like before, with Captain Katie and Nils, stands there with a, uh, a rough and crude-looking umbrella top to keep the, the constant oil rain off. Uh, she approaches you as you step off the lift. I interrogate her. Uh, she crumbles instantly. That's <laughs> 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 dust. Literally. <laughs> uh, she addresses you all. I thought you would want to know about this. I don't know who else to go to. As she produces a data slate and offers it to you. I'll take it. Okay, you take it and see that uh, it's on and its screen is displaying a gallery of uh, picts. You know. Warhammer word for photos. JPEGs, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, showing Web a, number, P40K. a number of bodies splayed on the ground, pools of blood, uh, signs of combat, just like what you found in Charnel Health 17. She continues, One of my patrolmen found the scene early this morning, just off the gallows way. He thought it was just the aftermath of a gang fight at first, but the bodies didn't match any known gang. When I got there, something about it instantly reminded me of the last time, and I found this. Uh, she holds up a plastic. God damn it. Uh, Warhammer word for plastic. A plastic bag containing a small fragment of perfectly black material. So black that it seems to absorb light around it. And she says, it's just like the necklace from Charnel House 17, isn't it? And, uh, Titania in particular, uh, so you are instantly reminded of the necklace that you are currently wearing. It's under my armor, I'm not wearing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, on, on your armor. It's, um, it's obviously not a piece of your necklace, as that is complete, but it is of the same material. Well, you are right, it is of the same material. It's strange, I'd assume the... How do you put an end to this? Well, despite being agents of the Fluffy Bis Biscuit Company, <laughs> I think... You lot are better equipped to deal with this than my sanctionaries. Would you like to come with me? Um, quick question. Yo. How long has it been? A couple weeks. Oh, sweet. I'll just cap that back out then. I light you on fire to remind you of the pain. <laughs> no! <laughs> What what is the object? Uh, she's got a a small plastic baggie, like one you would have drugs in, uh, and it's got a a fragment of some kind of black material. It's like a shard, it's solid. Object. Yeah, not not any particular specific item, just a chunk of stuff. Can I attempt a cyanation to see if I feel any warp residue coming off of it? Sure. It could be some kind of elaborate trick. No. <laughs> the material is actually a whole demon. <laughs> oh no, um... The tiny demon. You, you don't detect any... Uh... 
warp essence about it, but it might just be so small that it's not emitting enough for you to detect. Hmm. Well, it is uh, part of our duty. Let's go. Wait, 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 Success! Great. My first ever success! Alright, <laughs> you deeply uh, concentrate and hone in on this uh, artifact, maybe. And, yeah, you're getting the, the same vibe as, uh, like, Titania's necklace, or even the orb, uh, back from, uh, Langean Ghoul's mana. Yeah, like, it's, it's the same kind of heretical Xenos thing. The orb that's sitting in my hotel safe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one. <laughs> you just the put cleaner the locket comes code. in. The cleaner comes in with the key and just and takes it. I sent it from market. <laughs> I feed my children. Become rich. They walk and they open it and like, oh, that's a nice orb. They touch it with their bare hand. They have a vision of like an alien landscape and they run away <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> Okay. Uh, as Captain Nils will lead you uh, through the gallows way into a sort of outer section where there are rows upon rows of warehouses. Uh, you are led up to a particular one. Uh, you arrive at a three-story structure. Its exterior uh, comprised of plascrete. The fuck is pl plastic concrete? Plastic concrete mm -hmm. and steel so walls discolored with centuries of grime. Just uh, steel, uh, not plastic steel. No, shut up. <laughs> As Captain Nils puts on a respirator mask and recommends doing the same. I don't have Hold out my hand. Plastic. Doesn't have a spare. Alright, have fun. Last okay. gas mask that I'm wearing. Uh, back up to the ship. Uh, she shrugs and says, It's safe, just for the smell. It's got the aura of rot and death. Mm. I smelled some worse things recently, I'm sure. Alright. Uh, she pushes through some rust streaked doors into a spacious chamber. Uh, you see, it is piled high with junk. And the ceiling sags in several places. I like the requisitions of WD30. There are some pools of congealed blood. Hang on, let me put you on the map. It's blood. Ah. Oh, Those so maps are huge. Back. It's not that big. It's huge. What do you think they did here? WD40K. This place is <laughs> That's normal. very good. The Emperor's What's WD40K dead in there. Open. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Alright. Uh, the open air is there. thick with the smell of blood and an overpowering scent of decay. There are several sanctionaries already in here, moving about, taking picts, and speaking in hushed tones. What was this place beforehand? Is it just a warehouse? I can only presume. Get her! And, uh. Is it displaying name? Yes, okay. Yeah, this guy. Steps forward. Getting her here was first on the scene. Can answer any questions you might have. I'll stay and answer some too. I must get back to the purity gate. Alright. Uh, firstly, where did you find the, uh, fragment? Uh... Uh, the, the sanctuary starts with... Uh, hello. Uh, Gina Klein. Pleasure. Uh... Oh, sorry, Titania. Uh... Right. Found the... Investigator in the Fluffy Biscuit Food Company. I'd say I've heard of it. Of the Fluffy Biscuit Corporation. Okay, uh. 
I didn't I didn't get here in time to see any of the fighting, just the aftermath. Found that little chunk uh, by one of the open crates just around these boxes. In your opinion, did it look like the box has been opened recently? Uh, it's hard to say, but probably. Hmm. Welcome to have a look yourself. Oh, I will go do that exactly right now. Are there yeah. no corpses? Uh, Nils answers this one. She says, All of the corpses have been moved to the mortuarium for uh, autopsy. I can take you there if you'd like to investigate those. Very much right. Curious if anything else was moved. Did you initially recognize anybody from the uh, bodies? Nothing in particular noteworthy. I only glanced at them though. Seemed like gangers. Mm -hmm. uh, all of the bodies and equipment, we've uh, recovered some weaponry presumably used in the combat. That's all part of the uh, uh, it's in the evidence lockup. Mm -hmm. I assume standard gang fare, stub revolvers, and the like. Hmm. Anything extra? Uh, psychers. I would like the psychers to make a sciny science test. Minus ten. Second essence. Sciny science. Sciny science. Success. <laughs> oh, damn. Well done. Come on, Victor, join her. Alright, the non psychers can attempt a minus 30 awareness test. Oh, I feel yeah, like it's yeah, gotta be go. pretty insignificant. I'm not even trained. I have to roll it now. <laughs> What's yeah, that you said yet? Yeah. <laughs> 11 degrees. You can't attempt Sinitian's untrained. It's literally like you can't. Pursue it was it. minus ten, Jesse, but that's a ninety-eight. So don't worry about it. It didn't matter. I'll get minus two. I'll get minus twenty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a minimum of one, but uh, it's always Titania. It's the only one that picks up that uh, something is definitely unsettling about the psychic residue in this place. I think I'm uh, gonna... Point in the mm. there is a there's a lingering echo, like something evil was here, but no longer is. Something alien. Mm. Does it feel familiar to like you know out on the landing pad when the like the demon broke free? Uh, you're not sure about that. Okay. This place has a lingering feeling. Something horrific happened, much different than what it is on the surface. I think you can follow it. I don't think so. Alright, uh, is Victor looking at the box? I sure am. Okay. Uh, but, uh... Where I'm is the box notes? There's blood and shit on the floor. Okay, make a routine logic test, plus 20. <laughs> logic, plus 20. Ah, How good's your see. brain? I see. Uh, I add 20, which makes this flat intelligence. Uh, 95. <laughs> okay, you're unable to put two and two together. Wow, uh, I... Uh... You examine these crates to be um, uh, shipping crates with, like, plastic foam in yeah, them. That's a, that's a crate. You know, pack, packing peanuts. I eat uh, the peanuts. One of the crates in particular has a, like a, a bloody hand streak on it, but that's about it. I shrug. Uh, Jasper, what are you looking for? Um, I don't know really. I think I'd like to see the corpses. Okay. 
Well, that will be handled after when you all decide yeah, to move to I the can't mortuarium. Really think of anything to investigate here. Okay. Uh, you want to just give me an awareness test then? Big bomb. Minus one. Uh, no. Nope. You're in here. Walk around, sort of stumped, like the rest of the sanctionaries. Uh, Victor, you find one in there that is going through drawers and looking at papers. Found anything of note? I mean, it's all for the whatever kind of storage and business this place was. I don't think it has anything to do with the incident. Uh, can I see if there's any ledgers or something? Like that? Back. <laughs> no, you may not. There's <laughs> a woman encounter. Unskippable. Unskippable. Okay, I'm back. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, uh, look at ledges or something. Yeah, Anything sure. Anything that may have a. Uh... Uh, do a. Give me a logic test. Minus 10. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, this is nice, but no. You don't find anything useful. We know who owns the building. Nope. My best guess is this building's been unowned and unused for... Well, I suppose it wasn't unused, was it? Officially unused. Yeah, well. Yeah, nothing. nothing's coming up. I would like to, um, is there any shipping numbers on the crates? Uh, they are unlabeled. The only evidence that they are shipping crates is that they are packed like them. Do the crates look like visible in the surrounding boxes? I assume they do. Oh, um, yeah, sorry. Something to explain with the layout. There's a second floor to this bit, mm -hmm. and only this bit. You go up the stairs, and then these two doors here are on the second floor. Okay. I was like, am I supposed to see this invisible door? Ah. <laughs> I thought I was cheating. I'm uh, checking out this other room now. Yeah, um, the logic test will carry over. You don't find anything. Excellent. I am fucking useless. Life will find me something oh, to shoot. wait. I think I have a feature that just I can spend a fake point to just get a clue or some shit. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Nothing. Is it nothing escapes my sight? No. Where is it? Are you a seeker? Do you have a nothing escapes my sight? That is what I'm reading, but it's. I don't think that's the one. What's your role? Oh, what do you have? To tell I am a seeker. Pass aware to this test. Yeah. Oh. A, um, uh, seeker gives you nothing escapes to my site, which is you spend a fate point to automatically succeed on an awareness or inquiry test and reduce success equal to your perception bonus. Oh. I swear that there was one that was just like, spend a fate point, get a clue. Uh, Titania. There is. You, uh, but before before you say that, Luke, also, you as in a seeker, you get keen intuition, which is you can do an awareness a second time at a minus 10. Oh, yeah. yeah it's for completely free. You can just do it every time. Oh, okay. I definitely don't have that tier 3 tone. Okay, but do you have keen intuition? He just apparently, said he didn't. By, apparently by deep. I, I, I took nothing escapes my sight. Well, you're a seeker. You have nothing escapes my sight, and you have the keen intuition thing I mentioned, so you can just okay. do awareness again. I don't have that written down. But, I mean, I'll, I'll help. No, he was doing logic tests. Can I reroll my awareness from before, from when I was wandering around? Yeah, yeah, with minus 10. Beep, beep, beep. So, 18%. It's <laughs> 18% is pretty good odds. Possible. Oh, hey! there you go. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> all right. Over here with actually good awareness. <laughs> uh, you're walking around and inspecting the blood, and then you decide to inspect the parts that aren't blood. Uh, you find a small scuffs of dirt. Uh, highly unusual for a place so deep within the underhive, lower <laughs> lower hive. Uh, you find the fresh boot print encrusted within this 
uh, thin sand-like substance. Uh, something you would not find anywhere within the oily, muddy gallows way. Dry earth. Yeah, uh, you can make a logic test plus 10 to try and figure out where this would be from. Victor, come here. Okay, uh, I come. Actually, I think your logic is just as shit as mine. Yeah, <laughs> we have the exact same logic. <laughs> You can you can each make a logic test instead of helping each other. Oh sure, let me make that logic test. Was there a minus ten or a plus ten no, or plus what? 10. Plus ten. Mm. Plus ten. Check this out. I thought you said minus ten. No. Oh, actually, it's plus twenty because oh. all of you have been in this hive city before. Wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. There is no role that I do that matters. Uh, the rest of you may also attempt a logic plus twenty. Yeah, there's some there's some dirt here. Dirt, rare dirt. dirt. That's crazy, dude. Good. I don't. Know. This is some fucking dirt. Look at dirt. that fucking dirt. You got dirt. Some dirt you got there. All right, it's definitely strange, but can't make a clue out of. Ah, oh, there we go. That's awareness, but I mean, it was still. Oh, damn it. That's probably. Okay, I'll I'll take it. I'll take the six. As a success. Yay! It's because we need to keep this going. Well, I was going to say, my <laughs> logic is even higher than that. Because it's trained. Oh, okay. How many more uh, degrees of success would you have? You recall that uh, the rest of the planet is like a deserty wasteland. You know, covered in dirt. This, this must be from outside the hive. That's why this is strange. You know? Is that car actually here? Uh, it's like a rusty ass um, transport for warehousing stuff. It's not, not functional whatsoever. It's brand new. Mega forklift. Oh, mega forklift. Forklift plus. Yeah, it doesn't work. Is the car currency forklift drivable? <laughs> If it's from far outside, they had to get here quick. Maybe it's faster. I think the perpetrators of this came from outside the hive. Well, there's nothing but uh, savages out there. Somebody's been training with them, or they've gone excess. Well, you did say the corpses were unfamiliar to you. Do they have gangs in the wasteland? I've never been outside. Seems likely. Well, that's definitely outside of my jurisdiction. What is the quickest way to the, um, outside of the hive's reaches from here? Hmm. They'd likely use a similar route to vacate the premise. Possibly. Um, you'd probably want to travel uh, along through the Underhive, where there's a uh, little in the way of traffic to get in your way, and then take a, a lift up to one of the exits. There are dozens, maybe hundreds of different exits from this Hive city. Yes, I was just the waste. Yeah, uh, nearest one. This would make the most sense. I have no idea which one that might be. Apologies. This is amazing. I think we should check the corpses for any identifying marks. Probably yes, because there's probably a lot of people outside the hive, and uh, we aren't going to get anywhere with literally no descriptions or anything of the like. Very well. If you'll all come with me. Very well. Mm. Uh, you are led out of the crime scene. Uh, with Captain Nils doesn't take you to the purity gate, but rather just some other building within the gallowsway. Which is a sort of 
uh, medical area. Uh, therein contains the Mortuarius. Mortuarium. Mortuarius really sounds like an epic character's name. I'm Mortuarius. Sounds like the most badass necromancer ever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, uh, in Primarch is called, uh, Mortarius. Or Mortarian? They're all the fucking same. Yeah, yeah, he's the 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 Mort Nurgle, the Nurgle uh, boy. high priest of Merkel is Ulrin Mortis, Mortarian. Anyway, uh, you are led uh, over to here. Uh, Nils points you to the door further down the hallway on the right. Uh, the thing you will find one of my sanctionaries, uh, Skarin Thomas. He's working on the corpses. Tell him I sent you. Uh, I'm going back to the security gate. You can find me there if you have further questions. Thank you. No, no, this way. I'm oh, sorry, I, I didn't realize it was stage right. <laughs> yeah, Nils extends her 10 meter arms, picks you up, and puts you on the other side. <laughs> Uh, she no, walks no, down the hallway. No. Fucking upgrades, people. That man, these men's are. I in love this room. room. This room is like got a stretched wall out. <laughs> yeah. uh, within, you can find a. Uh, in uniform, uh, sanctionary Medicaid is uh, preparing some tools for a, an autopsy. He's got a corpse on the table, ready to go. Excuse me, uh, sir. Uh, yeah. We're in. We're assisting uh, one of your own, uh, one Nils, with this investigation. We'd like to examine the bodies, if you do not mind. Oh, sure. Um. I'll do that before or after I cut them open. We do both. Yeah, you can watch, sure. Um, I got common. some uh, small corpses in that one. There's one in there as well. I'm going to start my first examination, if anyone wants to watch. I will watch. Um, I examine the mind. corpse. Okay. It, is, it is dead. Very yeah. good. I don't need to see the inside. I want to see if there's any the tattoos or like okay. I cast specific down. clothing. Are there um, any marks of heresy on them? Let's see. Start ripping them apart. So where's the heresy? Where do they keep it? They have a heresy gland. I know it. Seeding heresy. Okay. Gland. Uh, low, you may make an easy awareness or Medicaid test. Plus 30. Wow. I chose the wrong room. <laughs> you chose the wrong house. Wrong house, wrong house. Wrong house. Well, actually, no, we'll do awareness. And then I will use a fate point to auto pass that awareness check. Oh, okay. Nothing escapes my sight. <laughs> You're also a seeker. Oh, oh, I've you been a seeker this whole time. Seeker gang, seeker gang. Alright, uh, you identify uh, some of the victims of Jasper. Uh, these corpses ha also exhibit uh, bolt gun wounds. <laughs> you know, the. Exploded uh, flesh and what have you. That's some heavy ass ordnance. Yeah. Uh, just give me a moment. I'm trying to find the list of what exactly uh, the items in lockup are. There are now. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out if that if they're here or somewhere else. Hey, what's in this top room? 
I don't like that. I don't like what I'm seeing. I don't Sneal. like this heretical things. This is awful. This is Sneal. horrible. I don't is like Neil it. There? Is it Neil? <laughs> He's doing the pose. Why is there so much heresy in this room? The happy oh, Nintendo God. Switch Man pose. The soy face. Is when I open this door, this is the last thing I expected. I feed myself to the bean. No! no. <laughs> it is Satan. <laughs> no, what do you mean? It hungers. It cannot be Satan. <laughs> last thing you hear, I'm so gawk. Oh, here we go. Stores. Okay. Uh, their possessions are stashed. If they are requested, uh, Thomas can provide them. Yeah, okay, so they are here. Excellent. Uh, would you like to see the items? Yes. Okay. Uh, he, um, just fucking pulls out of cabinet, I guess. Uh, the following gear. Two, I'll write down. Two las pistols. One auto pistol. Two las guns. A shotgun, uh, several rebreathers. I take one. Yep. Uh, three sets of now badly damaged flak armor and a portable take box, one. which is <laughs> like a, a radio or a oh, hell yeah. like a walkie-talkie. Who wants to take the portable box? Yep. <laughs> Run their pockets. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we need this <laughs> for evidence. I mean, to be fair, I actually need the rebreather. Okay? Yeah, I feel like the rebreathers are being put in front of us because we're gonna need them. <laughs> Laughs like a gas mask. Essential quest <laughs> item. You didn't pick oh, wait, there's more. Fucked. There's even more. There's more. Uh, there were. They did. Uh, while they didn't identify who the groups were, they were able to identify two different groups. Uh, that was the group of, um, the ganger-looking dudes. And this is the inventory of the cult-looking dudes. Oh, heresy! Uh, they had one rusty cleaver, three stub revolvers, two auto guns, several grizzly trophies, including a shrunken human head, several sheets of filth-smeared parchment written in with unholy prayers, <laughs> A rusted iron talisman depicting three circles in a triangular formation. Does my uh, forbidden uh, knowledge, the warp, help here for, for any of that? No, does anybody have forbidden lore demonology? God, no. I really wanted to take it, but I needed my EXP for Psy rating. Okay, uh... Common uh, lore? This is not common lore. <laughs> Either way, I feel like we need to be taking that out. If you don't have Forbidden Law trained, can you still attempt the check, or do you just simply not know? No, it would make any sense if you know. could. That's just special yeah, knowledge. Yeah, I, I guess you can't know. A random who who a could possibly circle? own this weird circle? I mean, it's a Venn diagram. Could... I assume that as a trained <laughs> psyker, I know that, you know, chaos exists and there are chaos gods, because, you know... They want you to be educated to not to be tempted by no, them. No, they don't. No, they do we, not. They really aren't going to tell the psychers, like, hey, there are these mysterious beings that'll try to offer you shit to damn Knowing yourself Knowing them to is hell. the first step to getting them. Oh, yeah. Okay, so none of wow. you know what a Nurgle is. This is just a funny little altist thing. Uh, funny little little prayer patterns. Anyway, uh, Lo... Uh, who identified the bolt wounds, will note that there is no bolt gun amongst mm. this evidence. Definitely somebody out there with a heavier weapon still, who got away with everything. Wait, that there's no weapons attached to these boys? What do you mean, attached? Oh, hang, hang on, what, for, what the fuck did you say? I, I was rubbing my <laughs> eyes. There's a fucking bolter gun that doesn't seem uh, to exist in this inventory. Uh, notably, uh, Two of the cultist group, not the gangers, uh, suffered bolt wounds. Bolt wounds. Yeah, yeah and a no kind of bolt gun was found in the aftermath. Right, the cultists so we know suffered that it was wounds. Jasper then. Yes, Jasper was. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. We well, did just I, have two weeks. Now, ago. all right, Luca, I have a question for you. That's going to be <laughs> what something I bet we aren't able to pass. I have a you bit more that. information, but yes, continue. Um. We saw a clearly defined boot print in the sand from sand, yeah. right? Yeah. Whose boots do they match? <laughs> uh. 
Do any of these men have crusty dry boots? They all have the same kind of boot, I guess. Do any of them have muddy boots? Yeah, which ones have the more sandy boots? Who's got dirt? Or did they, like, hose them off when they got inside? Like, uh, respectfully? The gangers or the culties? No, I... Let's see. That's pretty clever of you. Uh, the gangers. The gangers have the, the muddier boots. Mm, the gangers yeah. give them out of time. The cultists are probably nearby. Yeah. Gangers cleaned up for us. Oh, actually, I need someone to make a plus 20 charm test. Apparently, Thomas is supposed to tell you to go away. I'm not. Oh. When you can convince him otherwise. Wait, wait. I'm charming, I say, while not yes. being charming at all. I'm, not I'm very charming. There you go. I have He's on it. No, wait, no, plus the, 20? The, this isn't to attend, this is to participate in the autopsy if you want to. I will also, I'll assist you because I'm also trained. I will assist you. Well, hang trained. on, do you, do you even want to participate? Yes. I think, well, yeah, I was the one who's doing it. So I'm, I'm like, trained in Medicaid, I want to see Oh, okay. That. Yeah, if you want to help, um... Cut up the dude and find some evidence, sure. Am I doing plus 20? Yeah, plus 20 charm test. Yeah. There you go. Easily. Uh, yeah, uh, Thomas surveys the room, all the all the bodies, and says, Yep, I've got a lot on my plate, all my tables. Uh, could use the help. You're in. I mean, yeah, I'm helping. And then we do that. And then we're at present day. Okay, so... so when, who, who was hit by the... The cultists were hit by the... The cultists were hit by the gangers. Yep. Who had the bolter. And then they also... The gangers had the and the gangers are from outside. Okay. Yes. Somebody clearly we're, survived and we're took something. We're presuming they're from the outside because they have the muddier boots. So well, it right. makes sense. You know, in a skirmish, usually not everybody dies. True. Yeah, I have a little bit more. Uh, amongst the evidence was uh, a petty amount of cash. Not enough to be useful to you in any way. Uh, it consisted of guild scrip, which is... Uh, Hive Desilium's currency for off-worlders. Mm. And one of the uh, cult faction had several coins scrimshawed from Bone. Does anybody have common lore Ascalon Sector? Oh god. Oh. Fucking what? That's what this region of space is. I need to use Ascalon. all of my things on that. You know what? I'm just gonna go here. In the... Okay. You're unable to identify if these are coins from somewhere, or just a hobby. So the script is like... Not local currency? Yeah. It's, um... Space it's like a tour for you. It's uh, something uh, to be used by a rogue trader. Oh, it's that specific? It's like that kind of thing? Mm, universal well, currency. It's like general currency of yeah. people who travel to different planets. So the gangers are from... are potentially being paid by somebody from... So there might be even be a rogue trader involved in all this. Third party? Also, but when the gangers are from off-world themselves. Or paid by an off-worlder. A lot more to figure out when we get out there, but at least we know what uh, we're looking for. We were on the tail of a smuggling network, so this is probably likely another arm of it. I would guess at this point that the deal probably went sour and ended up at the warehouse to exchange goods. Alright, uh, Tomas dons a respirator and readies some scalpels. He's ready to begin. Mm -hmm. I will put on a nearby uh, random set of equipment that I assume also exists in the room and help him. Very well. Okay, uh... There's like a... Uh, a plastic tarp covering the corpse. He pulls it back and you're immediately hit with the stench of decay. Would be worse if you had 
Not one a respirator. Uh, Thomas says to you all, I've been told these corpses are less than a day old, but they smell years old. Crazy, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, you ever get anything like this? Yeah, uh, uh not recently. Uh, as you begin to pour over the exterior of the corpse, you can see there are there's like festering skin and boils and uh, putrefaction that uh, comes along with uh, being dead for a while, not the short amount of time that this corpse was. May, may I do a cyanation test? Yeah, sure. Mm, speed run. You can have a uh, minus ten. I mean, I'll also do it, you know? Sure. I like cynic sense. I'm just getting rid of all my really high rolls, you know? Okay, there's nothing warpy about this. It's just a just a corpse. Just a bad corpse. Uh, the cause of death, death for this one in particular is um, easily identifiable. You can see that the classic telltale sign of Laz wounds, uh, these burnt holes in the corpse's chest. Uh, close to those holes, there is a disturbing set of growths, uh, consisting of three round bu buboes in a triangular formation. And this repeats multiple times in a similar fashion to that uh, random yeah, that's weird. of no import. Yeah, he, uh, he pokes one of them with with his scalpel, and it, it is gross. Uh, he puts the scalpel down and he picks up an autosaw. And uh, rather unceremoniously, he uh, just lays it on the body's chest cavity and begins ripping it open. So, what are you looking for during this? Looking for ah! immediately after he cuts it open, there is a explosion of wriggling maggots that spill out. Uh, Thomas jumps back in surprise. Uh, you are all also surprised, I guess, as the corpse's eye is open and it sits upright. Uh, oh. roll initiative. <gasps> all right. Aren't you so glad we were here, Thomas? Thomas? Attack of the pepperoni men. He's coming in for the sausage slam. God damn, he's He's buff. bringing the sizzler. I'm really debating whether or not I should use psychic powers in front of this dude. I think the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you will love that. Yeah, yeah, Fluffy Biscuit Co. is approved for <laughs> psychic abilities. <laughs> you literally hey. can't stop it's that. Common knowledge. Oh no, he's gonna eat Tom! Uh, unless you are jaded, you must now make a willpower test against Fear 1. For this <laughs> horrible sight. Minus 10, right? Yep, that's minus ten. Minus I really ten. need to work on my <laughs> Alright, do I run away in fear? Let's have a look. Woo! Oh, I need I need to stop rolling so you know fucking what? I'll high. Use fucking... Oh, uh, oh fear one is, fear one is plus zero, not minus ten. Oh. Uh, well it still doesn't matter. Well, You'd have one seven. less degree of failure. Alright, am I rolling a D one hundred with a Plus three. Uh, that is correct. Uh, low score plus eight. I'm gonna use a fucking fate point to re, re roll it. Okay. Is that your third one or any challenge? I've got a lot of fate points. At least it's a right. six and not a seven. D100 plus 60. That was uh, guys. I'm the gonna Victor. Do command shit eventually. Yes. You are frozen by terror. You can take no actions until you snap out of it. All right, Once you well, do I... so, you have a minus 10 penalty for the rest of the encounter. Okay, well, I guess I'm already out of this encounter then. A snap out of it is simply willpower test. Yes, I'm out of it. You think I'm going to succeed? Uh, uh, Josh, D100 plus 60. Ooh, it's gonna suck. Seventy-two. 
Not bad. Okay, uh, also of you. Uh, all of you. No. Uh, the two that failed roll a d5 for insanity points. Yay, oh, that's why I fucking hate it. God fucking damn it. I have insanity. I have 10 now. God damn it. You have 10? Isn't, isn't uh, 10 where something happens? Uh, yeah, there's like a, a minor hiccup or something. Well, that's my first insanities ever. Uh, with 10, uh, you are no longer stable, you are unsettled. Your trauma <laughs> modifier is plus 10. My, my what now? Mental trauma. Uh, let's see. You're unsettled. <laughs> Where the fuck do I put that? In advancements. Uh, mental trauma. Each time you, ro you get 10, of uh, okay, you make a trauma test. This is a right, willpower right. test modified by how many insanity points you have. So I do that now. Uh, yep. Uh, you get plus ten because you don't have that many insanity points still uh, early on. Cool. I actually succeed. Okay. Uh, I don't believe anything happens to you. Other than that other stuff. All right. So I still have ten, but nothing happens. Yeah. Uh. Is low at 10? No, those are the first insanity points I've ever had. Okay. I've been right there in my mental Corrupted so because I got anything. dumped in the sump river. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, 72. I'm a little bit crazy. Uh, oh, you've, you've got the same thing. No actions until you snap out of it. Minus 10 once you do so. I mean, I just realized that I have the best self defense weapon. I have a horse staff. I can just club it to death. Don't worry, I it does, however, go right first. Here. Uh, the... Uh... The undead is going to... Uh... Stand... Is going to pick up a... Just a, like a... A sharp cleaver from one of the trays, and is going to swing it at Thomas. Very rude to swing at Mr. Isn't it like Thomas. plus 30 or something when they're surprised? Oh yeah, need to roll uh, Thomas's surprise. Quite surprised. Shit pant. That's really uh, cool that if you're insane, you just get to ignore fear. <laughs> hell yeah, now I can ignore simple, you know, plus one fucking fears. That's pretty cool. Ah. Too scared to be scared. <laughs> Hell just yeah. Harder. I just made myself insane in my room. Just sit down in my hotel room and just open my mind to the war. <laughs> oh no, wait, <laughs> sorry. I need to have 20 in order to ignore it. I have 10. Fuck it. Jesus Christ. Uh, Dick combat dear. modifiers. I don't think surprise makes you any easier to hit. You just can't do anything. I swear you, you were giving me like a plus 30 or something when we were sniping bits. Hmm. Aren't they like stunned or something? I don't know, earlier when I was building my backup character. The only, the only thing I can remember things. for it is that, like... During the first round of combat, a surprise character loses his turn and cannot use reactions because he has been caught unawares by his enemies. Yeah, no uh, bonuses to hit him or anything, right? Yeah, this is a bird. Doesn't say anything about anything. No, doesn't say anything about bonuses. Um, okay. So what? This guy just gets a uh, two two turns in a row <laughs> then. Uh, he kind of does, yeah. Rip Thomas. Yeah, Rip Thomas. Um, Rip Thomas. Uh, no, that's gonna miss. Nice. And not not all of okay. you are surprised. Oh yeah, true. I think that's backwards. You you've read it backwards, Luke. Oh yeah, the target was 74, I see. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah, sorry, I, uh... Didn't read the rest of it. Wait, who's uh, not surprised? Me. Unless you passed the fear test with three or more degrees of success. Oh, here we go. Do, for, furthermore, a non-surprised attacker receives a plus 30 bonus to weapon and ballistic skill test made to attack a surprise target. Oh, okay, so there is. Wait, do you need... Hang on, what's this about degrees of success on the fear test? 
Uh, Do you need three or more to not be surprised? Yeah, three or more, so that's only Jasper. Only okay, Jasper is what about me as Jaded not having to roll a test at all? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I'm not surprised. Okay, in that case, uh, I use my bodyguard reaction. Oh, okay, what does that do? Uh, I get to half move up. I am within range, so I can take the hit for Thomas. Okay, sure. And I also get to parry. Oh, of course. Yeah, uh, roll parry. You just Dark Souls parry him. Ping! You just repulse them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, you do indeed. Dart out and whack the cleaver away from Thomas. Fucking nice. Saved him. It should have actually been with a minus 20 as well, but it still succeeded. Yeah. I yeah. might sword out. Uh, I also do get to counter. Yep. Counter. Yeah, um, minus 20 on your counter attack. Yeah, hang on. Uh, there we go. Punch. Minus 20 modifier. Okay. No punch. No punch. All right, uh, Titania. I was superized. You, you were superized. Uh, Lo, make a willpower test. To snap out of it. That's never happening. It's plus plus nothing. Oh my god! There you go. Hey. <laughs> Easy. Bruh. Oh, that's right. I get my turn, though. Yeah, you get your turn. Oh shit. Uh, uh, yeah, um... It says you make the test in your next turn, it doesn't say end. Half action move, another half action move. Alright. Jasper, you are not surprised at all. Yeah, I'll be doing. One, two. Same thing. Two moves. Impressive. Victor. I, I snapped out of it. I will try. Give me a sec. I do this. It's still a minus ten, right? No, plus, plus zero. Okay, uh, zero. Submit. <laughs> no. Okay. Still shocked. Nice. Uh, oh, I actually need to figure out. I don't think he'd live, so I didn't. Uh, I'll. Disengage and flee. Is. Well, you might be stunned in fear. Yeah, oh, oh my god. god. Oh. He Yikes. Whole pant. Whole pant. Uh, he becomes catatonic. He's on the ground. Yeah, I guess you've been sawing open corpses all your life, and suddenly one sits up and draws a knife on It <laughs> <laughs> fucking gets the shank. Yeah, he, uh. He has fainted on sight. Just gonna re remove him from combat, I think. Just pushed over uh, by the console. So uh, scared of corpses? Scythia. Scared of living corpses. Yeah, living corpses. Corpses that barf man. Anyway, uh, draw my <laughs> chain sword. Double checking, I don't have Oh, you parried in with your fist, did you? Yeah. What the fuck? Well, I'm wearing armor. It's just a penalty to, to do it unarmed. Uh. That's why I said it should have had a minus 20. What, the Chosen Undead can parry with his bare hands, why can't oh, it? <laughs> <laughs> it's easy, anyone can do it. And then... Chainsaw this thing. No, <laughs> standard attack. Um... <laughs> Everyone else is stop. How, how much gang up do I have right now? Uh, do they have to be holding a like a melee weapon? I believe it caps at plus twenty, right? Yeah. At least that—that's what I remember you were saying. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's like plus ten for outnumbering them two to one, and plus twenty for outnumbering them three to one. But yeah, plus twenty max. I don't. Oh, I was saying like I don't. I don't know how many of the other people next to this guy are actually threatening it. Well, everyone but Thomas. Yeah. So that's three. Fair enough. 
uh, uh, swing down and he does the splits and dodges <laughs> your chainsaw. This thing is mobile as hell. What the fuck? Yep. We got a 14 initiative, my guy. He goes next. It does like the Michael Jackson. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you post the first threat. It's gonna attack you now. No. Cease. Uh, I need to go look up one of its talents. Jackson Five. <laughs> Injection. Okay, uh, it's going to all-out attack you. Okay. No it way. Uh, all-out. Well, it, it is a hit. Does it have the thing that when it all-out attacks, it gets another attack or whatever it Alright, you parry. Yeah, yeah. Chainsword counter. Oh, okay. She's 1.6. Uh, it's... Fails its assassin strike. Oh, Titania. Titania. Strike. Uh, anyways, okay, so I'd like to try to all out attack it with my force stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> all out. Modifier. I guess do I have 20 from everybody existing? Yeah, 20 from gang up. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Oh, okay. Ouch. Oh. Whoa. Wow, uh, we're half action. Pull out the chainsword and go for a swing. Mm hmm. I could just use my psychic powers. He's already unconscious. <laughs> nice, that's a hit. Maybe he's pretending. Hey. <laughs> Checking to see if we're location first. is <laughs> arm. Take his arm. arm. Take his arm. Alright. Seven damage to the arm. Do you threaten to this? rend it right off? Where Jasper. Mm, yeah. Uh, I think shotgun. Shotgun. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I think Ball I fame. Shoot. Point blank. Standard. Minus. That's 20. 20? Yeah. Oh, oh. Jesus. I missed. I'm sorry, I fucked up his uh, lab yeah, equipment. A majority of the, the shots go into the lab equipment. <laughs> no, that's expensive. <laughs> and uh, a few fly past and into the opposite wall. Oops. Victor, snap out of it. Uh, I refuse. But I do I get a 10 now? Is that how this works? Do you? Because I failed twice? I don't know. That's an excellent question. Yeah, it was a negative 10 at first, and then no, I, the I second don't think one was so. a 0. Alright, uh, 0. And, uh, no, fuck off. Okay. I'm gonna be here forever. Yes. Cynthia. Hell's Fellowship of Willpower. Oh shit, give me a sec. Oh wait, then, no, I'd still have failed. By two points. Damn. Uh... Yeah. Oh, I think I'm standard chainsaw. Plus... 20. Oh. Dark. Right down the middle. Chainsaw damage. Uh, I'd like to replace that five with the uh, so nine. With the nine, mm, so it's okay. a more damage. Uh, within an inch of his life, he's still alive. Still standing, but. Good God, only I'm barely. Still stand. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. 
What's the fucking faint? He faint you? I've literally n this revived corpse is using. Yeah, <laughs> uh, opposed weapon skill test against Scythia. Right. So you can't parry if he succeeds. This is a trained okay. corpse assassin. It's just kind of yeah. Skill? Oh, he's rolled so good. Damn, he did roll good. Only yeah, just your weapon skill. Yeah, I don't think I can beat that many successes. I don't think you can. Yeah, okay, so you can't ultra parry this next one. Just gotta hit you first. Can he hit you? No. Yep. Uh, you'll take... We just fucking repair... Three everything. damage. Ten damage, pen one to the body. Yeah, three damage. Yep. And he hits you. Uh, supernatural life force is leached. L e a c h. L e a c h. Yep. Uh, nice. From you into him. And the necrophage recovers. Nine hit points. That piece of shit. Hi, Dania. Oh wait. There's there's more. Hang on. <laughs> Damn it. Continue. Oh. 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 Do I want to try to keep clubbing him? Do it. Yeah. That's such a good chance. Asshole. I only found a good way to go clubbing. Oh. Full right. stuff jammed. Jammed. Check for jam. Jammed. <laughs> Go to swing and the warp's like, sir, you haven't paid your fucking fee. You wanna fate point that? <sighs> F it. Let's do it. Okay. At least once. I wanna I wanna hit this guy with it. Yeah, That's it's because it's because this is a heretic false stuff. There oh, we go. There we okay. go. There we go. Alright. You gonna do that willpower thing? Well you see, okay, this is how it works. So first of all, we want base damage, alright? Okay. We smack him with the damage. Does oh, that actually hurt him? him? Um it's yeah, that'll hurt him. Right, yeah, it does. Now, it does damage. We are into phase two, where we just make okay. opposable power checks against each other. All right. What the fuck is going on? Mental gymnastics. Uh, it's a fail. That's also a fail. I don't think it does anything. <laughs> it does okay. nothing. Nothing extra. Still a, a good hit. Good hit. Let's take it first power action. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Well, I know that for the future. It didn't matter that time. Low. But after you hit, you have to take an additional half action to do it, so I should probably avoid aiming. Oh. That's really weird. Oh, because you, like, hit them, and then you channel force into it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, chainsaw. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he, he is allowed a dodge. Hang on. A rudimentary dodge. He is allowed a d He will dodge. All right. He has dodge. Good job. Jasper. Alright. You don't want to try to dodge me? My attack is, oh, is also dodgeable. Yeah, I just uh, forgot. He forgot. He to, he to, to be honest. Swords. He wanted to see the stick actually hit him. He yeah, I kind of just want to see it. The stick hey! How is this thing still alive? Well, it heals, you see. Oh, fuck! It just leeched, if you were paying attention. Yeah. Or, or we, we should say lech. Because it All right. After being hit several times and not regening enough, uh, this shotgun blast cuts him in half. Also from lower half. Nice. I'd like to make <laughs> a willpower it... check. <laughs> yep. I finally fucking there succeed. Go. And it does not get back up. What Neither I does Thomas. Are there like sanctionaries running into the room now that we're firing a shotgun in the operation? <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, some, uh, some sanctionaries will come and hang out. Tom, catatonic on the floor. Tom. I'll pick him up and go put him in a chair. With their auto pistols raised, they rush into the room. FBI, open up! Uh, yeah, some... Oh, it's been handled. 
What's Moving. been handled? What's going on? The the corpse on the operating table sat up. By the gods. Wait. No, by see by see the god emperor. Kill them. <laughs> <laughs> gods are plural. Kill kill them all. There's only oh, one. Okay. Only one. <laughs> Take care of him. We should probably check out the other corpses. Or do you think they're alive as well? Well, they only Might got be. up when they started getting over here. You know? This one in particular was in an advanced state of decay with a strange symbol on it. It probably bears some reasoning that it is responsible. This is some more cult shit, isn't it? Mm. Yes. Perhaps, but we shouldn't take any chances. But it's, uh, give What's happened with the sectionary Medicaid? Is he alright? He just fell unconscious, he's fine. Fear. So, some, splash some water on his face. Or is the, do you have smelling salts nearby? I have no idea, this is not my office. But we don't have smelling salts nearby, we have smelling diesel. Or smelling diesel. Has anyone got some, uh, a <laughs> Stardy's moonshot? Oh jeez. Uh, what would you like to do in this, uh, mortuarium? Uh, check uh, this I'm thing. pulling out my chain blade, the, the knife version of a chain sword. <laughs> yeah, sure. And just, like, cutting into, just like, the ankle of each of the corpses to see if any of them react. Okay, out from the wound, a hand grabs your wrist. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, you, you get blood and bone as expected. As you uh, methodically move around to each corpse, it's the same for all of them. They each get up and start ready. Yeah, let's make sure these one, this one isn't getting up. Is this man doing the funky jig, or is he dead? Uh, he, he's, uh, he's sitting up and screaming, SO MANY VOICES! <laughs> Alright, I shoot him. <laughs> with my brain. No, the, the rest of them are truly dead. Alright. Does seem to be just the one. Mm. Thankfully. Now, the question is, which corpse was that? The gangers or the cultist? That was one of the cultists. Aha. Undoubtedly. All right, is there anything else you would like to do here? Make sure to take all the accoutrement of the cultists just as safety's sake and be able to destroy it. Oh, yeah. the, all the um, cultists' junk? Yeah, like the parchment, shit paper, and other weird stuff. Okay. Like, make sure it's destroyed so nobody's like... Are you going to destroy it immediately or just put it in your bag? Probably immediately. I don't. All right. Anyone Do you have a way that? of doing that? No. Uh, probably okay. a form of fire or something. Okay. Um. I don't know exactly. Oh, wait, what is uh, in a? They have an incinerator here at the Morris. Oh yeah, they totally would. Yeah. Yes. I would request to use the incinerator to destroy this heretical shit. Literally. All right. Uh, the sanctionaries that are in the room currently uh, will object to this, it being evidence. Yeah, so you can fucking steal it again? I don't think these are the guys that stole it. <laughs> if anything, to... keep it under guard, then. It's going in the evidence lockup. That where... went so well last time. Mm. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Burn it. Motherfucking Morty's. Uh, make a intimidate test. Fuck you. Yeah. I have that trained. I do. <clears throat> Clear his throat. I can't control it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sanctionary drinks under your word and says, Alright, fine. 
But it's not like I care about it anyway. Just trying to do my job. What are, what are the corpses? Thomas is unavailable at the moment, it seems. It seems safe, but this one should be destroyed. Yeah, we'll, we'll burn that one. Uh, go get a body bag. One of them leaves. Uh, do you want to do anything with the rest of these corpses, or move on? Um, I guess I'll make a tally of, um, you know, like, just the total numbers of, uh, who died to what wound. Okay, um... It was a combination of les gunfire and uh, solid projectiles. Uh, aside no, from the, the bolt wounds. It was all guns, no close quarters stuff, like no. no oh yeah, yeah, there were, there were some uh, like cuts as well, yeah. And you know, the obvious cut on the ankle that was recently added. Mm-hmm. Yeah, other than the bolt wounds, nothing Extraordinary. Yeah, I think we're probably done here. Okay. Uh, where would you like to head to next? The outskirts of the city. <laughs> Pretty much. Bus sure. travel is unavailable while enemies are nearby. I don't really think we have enough evidence to really go on, do we? Well, we do know we're looking for a rogue trader, possibly. Someone with an exotic, extremely rare weapon. Well, I One of the Fane brothers is still missing, right? Yeah, the youngest and the middle brother, you have both confirmed dead. The eldest is still missing. And so he if... could have tried to organize a deal with these... Elf Worlders. Hmm. Yeah, it could have gone poorly. And judging by the handy work, he's very clearly active. Just assuming this is the same connection. Very possible. Don't know many other people involved with gangs of people that rise from the dead. So where we were previously, Luke, we were under the hive. We weren't, like, outside of it. The warehouse? The crime scene? No, I mean, like, um, the previous place, like, the entire previous module. We went below the hive. We didn't, like, leave it. The entry. Yeah, it was here. Here was where your previous module was. Yeah. It's so, like, we didn't, like, leave the hive. We were just yeah. under it. Uh, the previous module started in the gallows way, much like this one does, and then went further down. And then we're basically, we're going from here outside. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's where you think they went. Yeah, I mean, you know, we can make assumptions. Yep. And how do you plan on following up on that? Well, this like the surface? Yeah. Yeah, you're below ground. Hmm. This episode of Survivor, we drop three regular people into an Imperial Hive city and have survival <laughs> in the lower hive. Like, the whole time. Do you want to go talk to both Captain Nils or return yeah. to the original crime scene? I think we should just update Nils on mm. what we think so far. And okay. also ask Nils about um, what settlements are outside the walls that they know of. Sure. Because, you know. They probably based their operations from somewhere sort of close by. They still had mud on their boots when they got here. Sure. Uh, you make your way to the Purity Gate, not far from here. Uh, you are easily uh, granted access to uh, Nils's office. She greets you. Uh, so, what have you found? Well, firstly, one of the corpses sat up and attacked your mortician. Mm. Well, this reeks of the previous investigation. 
wasn't it? Well, yes, it had um, the distinctive marking um, also bore on one of the pieces of evidence that was found on one of the cult members. And it was in an advanced state of decay, unlike the rest of the corpses, so... Alright. Well, as corpse starch experts, uh, what say you about all this? Where have they gone? I would assume at this point that they're probably... The group in the warehouse were probably trying to sell some sort of rogue trader type individual, and judging by the mud, they probably were based sort of close by as the mud on their boots became wet with the blood on the floor, and left behind a print. What is the closest settlement outside the walls that you know of? They probably based their operations from somewhere around here. No, I don't know of any. Nobody lives out there that you know of? I'm, I'm sure something lives out there. Yes. It's not in my purview at all. I guess it's not really like something you'd even I'm, sh I'm sure there are uh, raiders and settlements of vagabonds and mutants hiding from the law. Probably. It's probably all sorts out there. Mm. And their belongings included the bunch of scrip. Oh yeah, did you take all of that with you? I like only took the... the breather. Okay. Something which they probably would have thrown in the trash anyway. Yeah, right, you burned all of the cult stuff. Yeah, because we didn't... Like, sure, it's evidence, but somebody's gonna read heretical prayers and it's like... Yeah, no, fuck yeah. That. yeah. Not... As, as acolytes, you know it's the right thing to do. Yeah. If no it can't be used for your that investigation. heresy. The only real yeah. evidence the we could get is the, uh, the money. But I'm sure thousands of people exchange that currency every day. Would be yes, it's, to not, to track down. it's not any specific lead. Hmm. The main thing, though, is that several of them died to bolter wounds, which means that somebody among them is rather well connected. Mm. Have you tried asking for witnesses? No, not yet. Um... We tried, of course, but as you understand, some citizens may be closed minded when they see the uniform. We could do that, as well as probably... I guess we never like met him, we wouldn't really know what the oldest Fane brother really looks like. You think they're connected? One of the two of them were already connected, so... Stand to reason the third one is. Well, we've, we've got a search out for... Thomas, should he ever turn up, but... No word of him. I suppose we're going to go ask around for... Witnesses, because that would probably help a lot. Alright, keep me informed. Of course. Yeah, she goes back to whatever report she was filling out. Gone back. Hello. what I miss? We fed you the giant meal head in the side room, you're done. What? what? No! <laughs> you couldn't say no. Fuck! You just hear I'm stuck away all the way down. Uh. No! You're now going to try, since you don't have a solid lead yet, you're going to ask if anyone uh, saw anything. Can I interrogate people? You sure can. Uh, are you going to ask around the crime scene or somewhere else? Around the crime scene is probably the best place to start. Yeah. Yeah, Alright, around. Right. Return to the, uh, the storehouse. We're looking for a uh, the, the, the sanctionaries are still there. Hanging around, trying to find an extra crumb of clues. A crumb. Yeah, a crumb. Uh, you... Uh, the... It's not a heavily populated area, but there are, certainly are some people, and you may begin asking. Hmm. There are, like, dregs and downtrodden citizens and... Oh, yeah. Everything in between. Perhaps a... Gregor, some fucking homeless dude who lives near the fucking 
uh, yep. warehouse. Maybe they saw something. Yep. Uh, I'll just ask at random. What are you asking? Uh, primarily, if they saw anything of note uh, at the warehouse. If they saw where these people went. Or if, you know, they had okay. a particular walk or shopper. I don't fucking know. Uh, before you make any check, I need to make a check for your subtlety. Yeah. Lovely. The homeless people like that's the Inquisition get away. I it's mean, that order some of you are currently wearing very expensive armor. I'm. I just look like a guardsman. Hey, it's just Militar and Tempestus character. <laughs> very <Okay>. subtle. <laughs> uh, continue. Do I, I remain subtle for being a guardsman. No, oh, I've made the test, and I will add or subtract things. All right. Um. Does anyone else have interrogation and want to help me? <laughs> there are there are other ways of asking for things, my guy. Um, you understand I that I have only one good way of doing that, and it's interrogation. <laughs> I have Everything interrogation. Else. I also be charm. nice about it. I have big yeah. charm. Fine, I'll let you talk. Hmm. No, I hate interacting with peasants. Very well, then. <laughs> Literally, okay. my superstition is I'm not allowed to interact with this. That's, that's fucking me. crazy, dude. <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna protect this. I'm gonna go and fucking try and charm some of them and offer. Yeah. Do we just crime. have. Okay, so in the time that I was fucking gone, do we have no leads on, like, where these people went or what's. What the you've, fuck are we You've figured for? out that they're. Uh, uh, the, the ganger ones have been. Outside the hive city, in the uh, in the wastelands, uh -huh. that's about it. And they Amazing. have money from offworld. Incredible. Well, yeah. I don't actually know what the fuck to ask because I don't know Warhammer that well. I'm Just gonna... ask where they went. I'm just gonna go. Ask. I'm gonna go know outside. Josh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go low, and I'm gonna help you charm them. I'm gonna yeah, be I'm nice. Just, to them. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take one of the fucking bottles I have a sec to have. Anyone who can tell me of a random man who's clearly an outsider with a big gun will fucking earn this if you can tell me yeah. where he went. Uh, this, this is, is some big fucking inside uh, area. This is going to be inquiry, not charm. Fine by me. Yep. Yeah, uh, it is. Inquiry plus zero. Do I get a uh, plus ten with the bribery of Amasek? You do not. Alright, I'll still throw that out there. Like I will fate point then. Last one. Big spender today. Damn right. Yeah, hey, there's the eyeballer. Hey. You eyeballing me? You eyeballing me? Never mind. I try. Unfortunately, no one seems to be able to tell you anything relevant to this investigation. Wow, are there any muddy tracks to follow? I doubt. Make an awareness <laughs> test. Wow, because I've, I've, I've actually got awareness drained. That's fucking nuts. Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! The, 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 I was gonna subtract 20 from that, but you still succeeded! Tell me where they I'm... are now! Just watching your character have conniptions and you're like, hey, uh, wait a minute. Dis despite you guys having walked around the gallows way for about an hour now, and the oily, constant drip drip of the gallows way, Having washed away many tracks, you still managed to find faint outlines of those dirty boot scuffs uh, moving away from the warehouse Everyone. and through the lower hive. Follow. Follow. Lead the way. Mm -hmm. I follow you. You stay. Body follow me. Follow. All right. Uh, you are not alone in this moment, as. Yeah, I have my gang. Yeah, you have your gang. Uh, you're... A couple of the people that you asked if they'd seen anything, they've... Sort of, like, moved off. There's still, um... There's still, like, a beggar sitting on the corner of this intersection, with a, with a bowl, who... 
uh, apparently has heard your conversation, because as you begin to walk off, uh, he says aloud to you all, Your course is true. No, I give him a, give him a, a nod. He gives you a nod back. Hmm. What a fucking weirdo. Uh, all of you make a awareness test minus 10. No. No. He's got a gun. <laughs> he has a gun. Can you fucking shoot him? Who doesn't have a gun? <laughs> okay, uh, this guy just seems like some drag. Uh, he's got a nearby bottle of some kind of booze. You might not even know what you're talking about. You don't pay it too much mind. Yeah, I don't know. That was sus as fuck. Or like, hey, anyone seen this thing? And everyone's like, no. And then we start going that way. He's like, good job, you figured it out. What the fuck? Fall? That's why I don't like peasants, man. Uh, he appears to be just yet another drag. With the, like, scrap cloth hood and what have you. Stinky. Uh, he watches your group for a moment and then goes back to looking at the floor. Curious. All right, are you fo going to follow the trail? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Okay. Go in places. Uh, you follow the trail for some hours. Uh, the. The boot prints are getting much harder to follow, as the the dirt on their boots is not an infinite supply. I'm going to need <laughs> another awareness test. <laughs> Does an auto deploy more dirt? Uh, Can we assist one person with the awareness test, or does it have to be an individual thing for one person to do? Uh, yeah, one one of you can do it with help from up to three people, if you have awareness trained. Hell yeah, I you can assist. Help. Okay, I, I have 38 perception, who has technically the best perception. Probably you. Do you have awareness trained, though? Yeah, I do. I'm a seeker. Okay. Go. And you can reroll. Let him seek. Mm -hmm. I'm gassed out, though. Look at me, and I don't have a trained. I have awareness trained, but my perception is pretty low. That succeeds. Uh, you manage to uh, follow the uh, this trail for quite quite a while further. Uh, you eventually reach uh, let's see you reach a a long empty stretch of tunnel, lots of. Uh, debris and uh, pipes and just an overwhelming darkness as many of the glow globes in this area have failed. Ah, I will use my own glow globe. Okay, you light your glow globe. Uh, I deploy my flashlight. Yep, okay. Uh, as you are walking through, I will need an awareness test from everybody. Yay! Any minuses or pluses? Nope, plus zero. Uh, no, I'm still rolling in the 90s. Rolling You're running in, in the 90s. 90s. Everyone except me stands on a landmine. <laughs> it's a pipe bomb. Yay! <laughs> 
Why are we so bad at this? Is everyone Roll comp so. combat shit instead of skill jockeys? No. I'm not. I, I've done none of the above. No skill jockey and no combat? Nice, uh, um, strain initiative. Yeah, fortunately for you, they rolled like shit. So, uh, no yeah, one's surprised. Finally, Sweet. the thing I'm good at. Combat. Uh, you're We're all, like, looking around, and it's like the Spider-Man pointing me when we finally see each <laughs> Wait, if we get one of them alive, I can interrogate them. Capture one alive. Hey, your... Uh, glow globes and flashlights illuminate in the darkness uh, movement. They, they didn't expect the one thing having a fucking flashlight. Yeah. Two people with flashlights? Damn it! Phil, you told us that you'd have nothing! We've been had, boys! Alright. What's the light radius on a glow globe? Do you know? know? 12 meters or something? I'm Are delving you? into the items. Oh, I will find your answer. With the acquisition shit, requisition, yeah. and spending the points, are you still going with the rolling a d5? Let's see. Uh, to, to lose influence to get a thing automatically? Yeah. Yeah. Let's God, I'm, I'm literally built for that, because I, I... Okay. I lose less influence when It says I'm a dozen influence. or so oh, that's meters sick. in radius. Glow, glow globe is a dozen meters, and the flashlights are twice that, but it's narrower, so you get a... Uh... Okay. Uh, a dozen meat. Okay. It's like that. Who's got the flashlight? I do. I have a flashlight. Oh, you both do? And I've got yeah. glow. My requisition that okay. I succeeded in was that. I, least... I got it from somebody that was dead on the floor and I took it. I was sick of being blind. I was also sick of being blind, so I killed somebody with a flashlight and took it as my own. <laughs> of course. As was the style. This is the move. Now, as always, you're gonna have to tilt your token at weird angles to utilize the flashlight. I mean, I appreciate that. It's innovative gameplay. It really is. <laughs> Dude, oh my god. That's, that's a great idea that everybody gets sick of in like two minutes, like a Luigi's Mansion style part of like a game where it's like you all have like a narrow beam of light you have to turn around to look. Dude, I had so much fun with that. That was great. We we did a one shot with that, the Scooby Doo one shot. Yeah, that was great fun. Isn't that, what, isn't that the one I isekai myself? No. 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 no I think you were Scooby. That was a lot of fun though. That's one of the, uh... the Explorer. The flashlights are largely inconsequential as Victor is lighting up the whole damn corridor. Hey. Alright, uh, the, the fucking cultists loudly proclaim, FOR NAGAL! And that completely <laughs> botch the. <laughs> surprise! Damn it, you weren't Ooh. supposed to yell surprise, you fucking. Ah, shit! I wonder who Gurgle is. <laughs> He's Burgle on DVDs. Oh, nah. they go first. Yay! All right. Uh, popping up from cover further mm -hmm. down. Why am I in the front? I'm a simple shopkeeper. You may I'm arrange there. yourselves in traveling order. Uh, who was leading the awareness? It was I Titania? I was the one that succeeded, so yeah, I guess I'd have You to would be at the front. No, I'd probably volunteer. be up there. I volunteer to be in front of Titania. <laughs> Why are you so worried about I'm wearing Tempestus Carrot? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, actually, they're fine. Yeah, I've got, a, I've got a shield as well shelter. as guard. I feel pretty good wearing it. If, if you want to be in front of me, I'll let you do it, but... Actually, you have a worried. melee weapon. You're fine. Okay, uh, they're going to semi-auto the auto gun at low Titania and Scythia. If they hit. Thank Yay. you, Titania, for being my meat shield. That's what happens when you actually get to requisite have armor requisitions. <laughs> hey, I have a real shield, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. No, they miss. Don't worry about it. Uh, these guys are the stub revolver boys. Yeah. So they're gonna walk up to point blank range. I don't like that. 
Uh, oh, except for one at the back. We'll do that first. Uh, Titania. Off aim. Is it short range? How far away is he? It's not short range. Mm. God damn. Oh, there's a dude back there. Okay. I yeah. Like, I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's no miss. And the rest of them are going to point blank. Two for Titania. That is a hit. No mm. dodge. Um, don't, don't, uh... Also a hit. I mean, you can dodge that one. Uh, I'm bodyguarding the first one. Okay, I mean, I'll try to dodge one. Okay. Wait. Uh, so what, you're the target now? Yes. I interpose yeah. myself. Okay. Uh, do I need to roll the a hit again, or target. just you get shot? Uh, no. The attack is now against me. I'm in melee range. I parry. All right. Yeah, sure. What he's he's good. He fucking literally dark souls are bossing <laughs> everyone. Yeah, alright. Damn. Incredible. I dodge. Uh, and you dodge. Well done. Uh point blank at low. That's a mess. And point blank at Scythia, who is unfortunately now engaged in melee. That was pretty clever. You were at the finish team. Yeah. <laughs> We've intended oh, to waste you half your time to move. And, and you've reacted. Yeah, I've reduced my reaction, so that just hit. Oh, no. no <laughs> Alright, your turn. Alright. I... Uh, attack the guy I'm next to. Hmm. Uh, how good's their dodge? Not good. Terrible. Not good. Nah. Yeah, continue. Nice. Chainsaw damage. Ah! Still alive. I'm still standing. Uh, and that's my turn, because that <laughs> was a uh, half aim standard attack. Hello. Alrighty. Uh, it's the point click adventure. Gonna aim at this man, but also keep him these two for the full auto. I finally get to test it in before it jams right here in the spot. Just Probably dumps either. out 150 bullets. Because you've used all your fate points. <laughs> <laughs> Point blank, no short range. Well, it's point blank for one dude. Oh, okay. Fair are, you gonna, are you attempting to spread the shots? Yeah, that's why I said. Right. Yeah, okay. I get you. I like it. Dig it. Nice. So, five. Five shots. One. Ooh. Oh, God. It's so far over. <laughs> I, you're gonna need to reduce the name of that thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, not the name, I'll the, the amount of special. <laughs> yeah. It's fine, you can how, move your window. How a much bit. damage? So I do not want to do Seven, that. three pen, four, and then three, four, four, three, three pen. pen. And then. Okay. Uh, three on the main guy, and then Whoa. one and two on the second guy. You can replace that one with your degrees of success, right? Can I? Yeah. Then I won. On the second. Okay, sorry. But the, the twelve was to who? The twelve was on the first guy. For, okay, three, the point, three shots. The point blank him. one. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he will die to and that burst. The last two into him, and then so that four becomes. He an will eight. live. Oh yeah. wait, four becomes an eight. Eight pen three, nine pen three. Okay, he still lives, but less. And that's 20 bullets as I paint the whole way. Also, crap to me if I'm wrong, but the twin linked thing is separate to how you shoot it. You get another. I believe uh, you've got oh yeah, another no, that's shot. Right. That's two degrees over, so I get another. Yeah. Alright, so. Just because it has a second 
There we go. Uh, eight pens. <laughs> for... Yep, he dies. <laughs> Look at spray these two down. Oh, they're like, Look at these guys. This guy's got a whole like double fucking LMG set up. Let's rush him. <laughs> uh, how many bullets was that? Twenty bullets, six successful oh, hits. God. Brad, got an RB here. Shots, God damn. So you guys just right. gonna wind up and they just. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Love it. Fireworks, well. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Okay, we're gonna have to. I've never been so happy to be a trade armor in my life. A single shot at Titania. It's a hit. I can't dodge. I can't dodge. That's 12 damage. Does it matter where? I mean, no. It's all okay. 10 past this. Yep, gotcha. You're done. I'm gonna try to light the dude the shot. Actually, wait, no, he can dodge. He's one of those fucking. It's the dodgy boy. <laughs> and he's got exactly. cover. Hmm. I don't know why Did they're I called see? infectors. They didn't do any infecting. Does this give me cover from like the side? Oh, uh, there's what? Standing over here. Oh, this is um... This whole bit here is like a raised platform, and this is actually lower. Okay, so this box would be right Yeah, you'd want to be behind the box. Okay. Here, yeah, I will sit here and then I will light... Uh, I'll try to light this guy on fire. Sure. Focus thou just powered. Why is the default that Sai used one? No, I want to use all my power. I'll use my full power to kill you. Not I can't it. control it! <laughs> I've already considered what silly thing I'm going to do. Watch him dodge this. No. Okay, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Dodge is your dominate. <laughs> Ow. 1d10 plus. His brain does a barrel roll in his skill. <laughs> <laughs> No pun. Oh, <laughs> he dies instantly. Bruh. <laughs> Horrible. Jasper. Uh. Just, I don't have quick. Call. Oh, because it's it's two times PR, isn't it? Yep. Yikes. I'm not a quick draw boy, so I guess. Oh, you killed the one over there, damn it. Listen, okay. Yeah. I guess if I could have just let the one next to Sithia on fire and I'll take melee combat penalties. No, you don't. Um, I guess. How far is this? Oh, it's easier than in short range. Half action player, auto gun, and then I'll just shoot at this boy. Okay. Go for it. the standard range is like 30 meters on an order. 100. Oh, okay, so yeah. It's a full rifle. Let's just go standard. Single pop. Yeah. Nice. Uh, dice roll of 84 is gonna hit a leg, which is behind a box. Oh. Yeah. So roll the damage. Oh, good damage there. Pretty good damage. Probably not uh, really much because of the box. How much armor does a box have? Probably a lot. Eight. Yeah, yeah. it's going to eat all of it. Damn. He damaged the box, but it does not get through. The dangers of living in a metal box. Yeah. The dangers okay. of cover. I'd Victor. like to ask, what is this big thing? It's a box. Uh, yeah, the big cover. metal thing on top of it. Yeah, box. it's just some wooden boxes with a metal box on them. Oh, oh yeah. does metal box, box yeah. look kind of heavy? Yeah, looks mm -hmm. heavy. Yeah, good. Uh, I'd like to assail that into them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, going to turn power. that cover into not cover. <laughs> Alright, allow me to cast. I'm going to cast this at uh, Sire, Sire Use of 1. Uh, modifier plus 50. Hmm. Submit. Okay, that's heaps. Uh, so that will send it flying. Okay, how far? One meter. Does it hit them at least? It'll hit them, but not a lot. God fucking damn it. It's still very funny. 
I'd say that's a d10 plus 1 damage to both of them. Hell yeah, it's actually not 1d10 plus 1. <laughs> okay, that does not break their toughness. Incredible. Oh well, I removed some of the cover. Yeah, they have a little less cover now. <laughs> Just push their cover out of the way, like, hey! Hey! <laughs> uh, uh, my cool plan would have worked so much better if I didn't roll like shit. Yeah. Well, the huh? My main monitor just turned off for a second. What the hell? Yeah, sorry, I'm using it. I was disappointed. You tapped it with your feeties, didn't you? No. Uh, oh, God. Oh, that's a jam, isn't it? Yes, it is, sir. Especially uh, if you're using a solid slug. Jammy gun. Your gun is full of jam. <laughs> oh. He looks down. Peanut butter and jelly. Fuck. Alright, straight initiate. It's going to take an attack of opportunity. Alright. Chainsaw. No way. Standard attack. Yep. Charge. No oh, life. Okay. He's super dead. And, uh, a revolver shot also flies over your shoulder. He'll turn. Um. Alright, um... Uh, I charge. Hmm. <gasps> Understandable. See, I removed that box so you could get across it. Of course. Such a oh. plan. <laughs> Chainsaw. The charge attack. No! Oh, yes. Doesn't matter. Okay. Hello! Lo and behold. We run forward. That is me. Run in in the nines. Uh, they will provoke. Okay. Yep. No aim, standard. Uh, and they will dodge. They do not. Ugh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm. Uh. Shit, pain. That's a lot of damage. How about a little more? <laughs> Barely alive. Uh. After going that far, he's then going to hip fire at Lou. Yay. That's it. I dive into cover. Oh, uh, dodge plus ten, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah. Sounds right to me. Oh, it's like no damage. Okay, does five damage get through your armor? Not at all. Okay, don't worry about it. And uh, I should really still move to the position, right? Yeah, you're still over there in prone, but... Yeah, you caught the bullet in your side, no damage. Lactania. Did that guy that's, uh... Mr. Strain and Factor, if that really is your real name... He yet? Did, did, did he already dodge? Yep, on his turn, no less. That's too bad. <laughs> I was hoping for a sister rest. <laughs> with your heart. Oh, no, please. Go. He explodes. <laughs> he just explodes. You have two health. Oh, okay, yeah, he is done. <laughs> he did, what, 11 minimum? Well, I did downcast that slightly just to make it better okay. accuracy, but it was still going to do a minimum of 9 damage. Cool. Hit the I guess that's me. Jasper. Um, shoot at this boy. Okay. He has a metal box cover. Yeah. I was confusing the range of the shotgun. I thought it was 30. 
Uh, Draw the auto gun, guys, fast. Josh needs auto gun ammo. I'm going to half aim. Short range. Standard. Hey. Hey. Uh, that's, oh, that hits his head. It's not got no cover there. Dodge. Oh my fucking god. Oh, oh, what a dodge! Ducks and the oh, ball flies over here. I'm, I'm impressed, honestly. <laughs> Oof. That slow motion dodgeball action. Victor. Alright, I would like to, um. I'd like to electrocute this man. The gun boy or the revolver boy? There's two of them. Yeah. Shit. Um, I move up three meters. And then I guess the revolver boy hasn't been touched, right? Neither of them have. But this uh, guy's got a jammy gun. Oh, well, I mean, jammy gun is easily dealt with by the other two women that are barreling down on him. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'll try <laughs> to take out Mr. Fuckboy at the back here. So I will uh, cast so Smite. I will reduce it by two to give myself an extra... 30. Yep. Yeah, he's already dodged, so... Uh, how many successes is that? Three? Um, yes. Alright, then I hit him twice. Oh. Okay. So, damage, 1d10. Plus, two. Four. Oh! oh. Oh, okay. Uh, Guess he's he just, righteous fury to death. Just fucking... Uh, limited power. Sent asunder. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't redirect the other one, because this uh, man is beyond two meters. Right, yep. Uh, so turn. he's going to run. Scythia, you may swing... Wait, you've done that already, haven't you? I already made a reaction. Ah! Uh -uh. Uh, he gets an additional 12... Meters off map. You fucking cut. Cynthia. Cool. Um, how far is that? We gonna say? <laughs> there plus twelve. Yeah, so twenty-five from you. Okay. You see, he's like full dropped his gun and is just full sprinting. Like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. He has auto gun mags in his pockets. <laughs> he does. He's getting away with them. I need those. <laughs> and not catch him, but for now I will also run after him. Okay. What's your run like? 18? Yeah, so that's okay. 13, so I'd be an extra 5 off the map. So at the start of. Well, on his turn, as he keeps running, he's going around, going to go around a corner. This will turn into a, a chase combat. Uh, Lo, you're prone. I'll stand up. Did he get around a corner? <laughs> no, he... not yet. Excellent. He will next turn. I'm going to full on him shoot at if Sissy uh, is not in melee with him. Nope. Uh, I'm not. Uh, he's still in your short range. Yes, he is. No! Okay, three shots down the hallway, hitting no one. It must be terrifying. Titania. The auto gun. Anyways, I'd like to light him on fire. Understandable. <laughs> Roll it. Do what I must because I can. <laughs> For the good of all of us. Parried! What, I mean, you mean not, not parried. Oh, yeah. Dodged. <laughs> He just turns around and parries your fucking <laughs> psychic ability. He parries me trying to light him on fire. <laughs> you, you see him uh, dive through the air and spin in a barrel roll, and your flames do not catch him. Uh, just for... He turns around and he like slashes at the fire, and you see Titania do the, the, the Dark Soul reel back. <laughs> Being packed yeah. around her eye frame. Wouldn't he be in the dark? Uh... I'll say there's a dim amount of lighting down where he is. Okay. 
I have aim. Yep. 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 Got range because it says Omega range. Standard fire. Yep. Roll damage. That's a lot of damage. I thought we won him alive. Uh, he's hey. running, there's no way to catch him. He's shot through the chest, but he keeps on going. Victor. Far away is this man. Quite far from you. About 20 something meters. Uh, he is 31 at the moment. 31. Alright, I'd like to use a sail. Okay. So I will cast this. Uh. They say use of two, which will give me 40 meters of range. Oh, cool. Good. Okay. 30? 40. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, now this will uh, also knock him prone. Oh, no! <laughs> he's knocked yeah. one meter and knocked prone, uh, but let me now do the damage, sorry. Aha, uh -huh, he's made an he's made an additional meter away from you all. Aha, one D ten plus fucking two. Pen of two. Does no damage, but it just knocks his legs out. Well that's gonna ruin his day. Half action stand up. <laughs> and Take spend him off. Half move. Half move is only gonna move like a couple <laughs> meters. Yeah, yeah. You know, it doesn't move very far at all. <laughs> I can keep doing this to him every time. If you I run until I, uh, you know what, I'm running, uh, I get in front of him. Okay, you're gonna run around him. Yeah. Okay. Yep, you're in his way. Low. <laughs> We're going for that full fucking run. Up to there with 16. I almost need to check the speeds. I got more agility, so I'm pretty sure that's 24 moving on a run. What's your agility bonus? Four? Four. Hmm. Yeah, that gets you to 24 meters for the run. Titania? Mm. We're at a range oh. of 39 for you. I have an effective range of like a 80 meters. Stop. <laughs> I also have an effective range of 80 meters. He was so close to that corner. <laughs> that tripped him up. I'm Get sorry, up. sir. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Nothing personal. You can, however, dodge again. Eh. Nope, he doesn't. <laughs> oh, <it's there. laughs> it's been an honor. <laughs> Should be taking him alive. Uh, nope, he has burned us under. Fuck. And that is the end of that. He is alive. No, he is <laughs> in hell. Alright. It is very funny to trick people. <laughs> yeah, that was pro gamer movement. <laughs> Uh, yep. I assume you don't yeah. care about the stub revolver stuff. Josh used 40 turns worth of ammo <laughs> compared to me. Oh, like <laughs> two minions. Listen, I do what I want with my ammo. Yeah, no, like, compared to me, who shoots once around usually, you use 40 turns worth of ammo. You fucking saw, like, what was the equivalent of a small child at a crossing and fucking. <laughs> it with my, my ballistic right. skill is too shit to like fall. Josh. Yes. Uh, off the both of them, you can get four full mags. That's 120 auto gun ammo. Oh, yeah. And in one of their guns is a clip of 20. Excellent, excellent. It's it's Fortunately, the other one jammed and all those bullets are gone. Yeah. I assume you don't care about the stub revolvers? Not at all. I don't use stub. Alright. Then we may move on. We can make a twin link stub roll. And no dark heresy stub. Sorry, dark tide stub revolvers. Yeah. 
That would, I feel like those things deal like 2d10 damage a shot. At the same time, nice. I love the fact that it's like some other people's auto guns are like ricocheting. And meanwhile, when everyone looks at Lowe's like spray pattern, there's fucking armor piercing rounds through some of the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck was she shopping? All right. the, the war band continues on for a while longer. <laughs> Couple more hours. Inspector <laughs> Gadget. It's heresy. Fucking purge all them. Inquisition Inspector Gadget. Oh, that tickles me way too much. Eventually, uh, the Parsi Fellow opens up into a large, almost cavern space, though it is, of course, uh, been worked to show industry of the Imperium. There's like pipes and random boxes everywhere, as you would expect. Uh, at the uh, end of this cavern, uh, there is a vast opening in the in the top uh, that leads upward into the hive. Uh, further ahead, you can read an ancient and faded placard that announces that this is Lift Plat Delta Three Nine Nine. There are a series of massive girders that frame the line of the ascent for this lift platform. Uh, which, uh, you can see it's currently not here, presumably parked at a higher landing. I do note that this is the bottom floor, it doesn't go lower. Is there a recall button? Uh, I'll get to that. Okay. Uh, there is an ancient and bewildering a way of array of chains, pulleys, and hydro-pneumatic extenders. Stand by, ready to provide motivation for the lift platform. And decades of prior parchment and purity seals that plaster the mechanical works of the lift that glisten with sacred machine unguents. Currently, there are a trio of servitors that are performing maintenance on this lift machinery, one of which is clambering uh, high amidst the tangle of cables and chains using a spider-like chassis. At ground level, uh, one of the servitors uh, announces in a loud, monotone voice, This conveyance is undergoing the appointed maintenance, rites, and observances. Thou shalt not utilize the conveyance until maintenance is completed in approximately 900 seconds. <laughs> this conveyance is undergoing... It just repeats over and over. Uh, Does getting it count down every, every time? Yeah, uh, 890 seconds. So, it takes 10 seconds to say that. We can wait. I mean, they're already like a day ahead of us. Uh, you hear from the bottom of the lift, uh, shut it up! And then the, uh, let's see. Yeah, I hear a gunshot. And the loud, monotone voice of the servitor is silenced. Somebody really bothers a show to serve at all. Yeah, loitering down below at the bottom of the uh, lift platforms, you can see a group of men. Stinky men. Uh, they see him on high alert, their guns raised and looking generally in your direction. They're about as suspicious as us. Hmm. Curious what they're doing down here. Don't worry, what guys, kind of guns do they have? About 50 meters away. They're yeah, within smiting range. Well, ser servitors are generally like servants, civil servants, right? 
Yeah. I mean, yeah. they're they're generally basically like the maintenance crew and what makes things work. It's yeah, like if the truck it, it's like if the traffic like stop button could yeah. uh, be interacted with like a person. It's like shooting a garbage man. Yeah. Like it did nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, like they're that's, not actually human. <laughs> that's general um not very nice person behavior. No, no. It's ba it's basically like somebody attacked like a computer by the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Nick, no matter no matter property. what you do, Nick, these people board the elevator and escape. You can't stop them. Yeah, <laughs> Damn it! If only we had eight hundred and ninety more seconds. <laughs> only I had another hundred thousand rounds. <laughs> To cross Ooh. this distance that will take about 30 seconds. What kind of guns do they have? Uh, you're too far, like, it's, uh, it's not displayed very well, but this is a descending, uh, like, slope, and you can't really see them from where you are. You would yeah, have to get much closer. Mm. Oh, we'll just go towards them, then. What do you mean? Well, when you said they escape in a cutscene. I was like, oh, oh no. Nice. <laughs> that would be an incredibly lame and <laughs> fucked up thing to do. I was like, we can all shoot that far. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, let's get closer. Okay. Uh, do you want to stroll up like you're getting on the elevator, or do you want to sneak up? Oh boy, we're so good at I sneaking. I see no reason <laughs> to be quiet. This is what I mean, like, they effectively just killed, like, a government a social official. worker. Yeah. yeah. Like, they're not good people. You should just fucking kill them. No, but we need, we need one alive to interrogate. All right. We keep one alive. Victor wants to keep one or something. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let's right, kill so you want to shoot as soon as you can see them? Let's go for a surprise round. Okay, so you are sneaking. Try to sneak I up. am not. I'm okay. also Either you're all sneaking or you're all not sneaking. Uh, actually, yeah, to be fair, there's no such fucking... Like, the chance of us stealthing is like 1%. I have a 12% oh, there's actually cheating when they sneak. There's a... Yeah, a 13 group, <laughs> There's a group stealth thing that it suggests. Um, Does it give us a plus 70? <laughs> no, it's like, if anyone... Well, first of all, does anyone have stealth trained? I don't. Okay, anyone who has stealth trained can attempt to cover for their fellow acolytes, taking a minus 10 for each acolyte. Good <laughs> fucking oh god. god, I could not carry that much weight. <laughs> <laughs> What's the front now? I can't carry you. Alright, Josh, make minus, minus 40 stealth check, good luck. Oh, but it's not, um, it doesn't go off of normal attribute, it would go off of intelligence, because it's an effort to coordinate your team, and get the wall to be stealthy, and, and not so much your personal stealth. Alright. That's worse. Guns blazing. Guns, Guns blazing? blazing? Alright. We are not, yeah, we are, I, we are... There's like, like a fucking 2% chance we all succeed a stealth check. Every scenario presents us with a skill that we need that we just don't have. Well, I have it, it's just everyone else doesn't and I can't cover it. <laughs> yeah. 40 what's the, what's fucking the minus! Right. You'll, get to, 40, you'll get to about here when they spot you. Arrange yourselves as you would like to be. I'm gonna be at the back. Issues. I'm at the front. I'm also near the front. I'm pretty comfortable with where I'm standing. It's a good, it's a good spot the, the pipe, pipe on fire. If this is possible, cover. Okay, uh, now that... Nice. Ow. Now that you're arranged to uh, see them fully, uh, you can see that the majority of them are equipped with uh, like small arms, like an auto pistol or a las pistol, maybe. Auto but their leader... What? Wields the bolt pistol. Oh, oh shit. Light, light him on fire. Light him on fire. Actually, uh, to the man with the bolt pistol, we should keep him alive. They're the ones who fought the cultists. Mm. The one. 
Any of them will think be on we can talk to them or just You don't have time to talk to them. As soon as you <laughs> see him, they fire at you. But we're just I, friendly. They're not having any of it. I no, you failed your you failed your subtlety test. You failed your subtlety. We failed our subtlety. Yep. Yeah. But okay. we have so much subtlety. No, we Where could really it have gone? Don't know. <laughs> right. This is this is giving me. Uh, I also rolled a sixty-nine. So nice. Nice. Okay. This is giving me the feeling that our subtlety is low. I'd like to spend one influence to reduce our subtlety by a d5. Increase. No, not not right now. What do you mean? It's like I can a... do it whenever I want. No, you can't. I it's... can. You. It's a free action. No, you burn influence to get um, yeah. favors to cover up your tracks. How are you doing that? Free action. He calls in on the telephone. Oh. The Voxcaster. Are you? No. Call the mayor. Okay. Uh, one of them reacts first. Uh, you can also see that they are injured. At least two of them are. Oh, good. One of them is clutching a bandaged arm, and one of them is trying to keep his guts in. I wanna... I, we wanna keep the bolt guy alive, but I also wanna kill him as fast as possible so I can get more bolt pistol. That's fair. That's I'll fair. tell you right now, I'm not heating your information, I'm burning him first. Because I don't want <laughs> yeah. him when you have the bolt guy. Yeah. That's what I mean, I want him to die first, but also he'll probably have the most information. Alright, he's going to... Will. Fire a las pistol at Scythia. I don't know if this can hurt you. Probably can. I think like, like a D10. You can try. Can. Probably can. You can try. Uh, we're not right short range, are we? No, we're not. Standard. No mod. We do hit. No dodge. Nah. My yeah. dodge sucks. Oh, baby, oh. it was high damage. Can't believe See? I don't go last. Okay, and then he's going to half move to cover. I'm right Titania. I can't I could... believe I do go last. I always go last. I break out the ruler. The, the screen is not scrolling. Anyways, I want to try to light on fire the guy with the bolt gun. Okay, understandable. Spontaneous combustion cast. <laughs> what tricks up his sleeve do he have? I don't know. Hammer spell. Well, apparently he's got not getting. He does not be lit on fire. Yeah. Oh. Well. Okay. That feels like it shouldn't be that high. I'm gonna look. I'm. I mean, I'm done. You can keep going. I'm just yeah. gonna read this card. Cover and. Fire a last pistol at Jasper. Mm. One minus three times ten. Pistols are thirty meters. He does hit. Just you, you don't want to try and dodge either. Why would I not? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's Either way, it's gonna fail. Like, have faith in yourself. I don't have faith in my 13% chance. Alright, right. 5 damage. 0 damage. 0 damage. And Wait. then the leader. Is it always factoring that I'm using a focus? Uh, no. Okay, no, never mind. I figured out. Spontaneous combustion just has a bonus to cast. That, that's what the extra is. Okay, never mind. Okay. We're good. Uh. Full move. Does he want a full move? Yeah, sure. Uh, he'll full move to the cover over here, yeah, and I'm also as he does, fire a single shot with the bolt pistol. Oh, he's got oh. That, that, that thing! Yep, hip shooting. Oh, he's not just strong, he's just hip shooting. He's got hip shooting. Oh, yeah, uh, who do we want to shoot at? Yeah. Do not. I think Titania. Always kill the Psyker first. I haven't done anything. How am I a Psyker? You're carrying around a staff, bro. Carrying around a staff. Which guy is the... this? Uh, this Old one. Man. Are we in short? No. Actually, if we shoot Jasper or Scythia, 
We are in short. Let's shoot Jasper. <laughs> Body he guard. doesn't know I already dodged. <laughs> Cut the bullet. Oh, he missed. No, I can only you can only parry melee if you're actually you can only parry ranged attacks if you if you're actually in melee with them. Okay. It's literally the act of no, no, it's literally them. the act of knocking their arm or weapon aside. Yeah, yeah. I thought you could do that because I was like, you're already half dead, and I have good armor, so. Like, oh, you're right. taking the bullet for me. When he He's got enough speed. He's going to foolishly run. <laughs> All the way up to you. What the fuck? I see he's got a mole in both hands. Uh, the very injured guy's got to stay where he is. Does not want to peek. Lithia. This man asking to be killed? Yeah, kinda. Alright, half aim standard chainsword, plus 20 because he ran. Yep. Correct. He craved death. He's got modded on the... He... <laughs> and... Harry? No. No, we can't. Oh, well. We can try. We can always try. Always try. No. <laughs> uh, damn it. God, oh, righteous fury him. Look, I said I it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just clothesline him. <laughs> With the sun. Yeah. <gasps> Alright. Uh, that was your whole thing. Hello! Alright, it's time to pull some dark type bullshit on these two poor motherfuckers down here. Fucking I'm ready to expend all the ammo I just Palmer. picked up. <laughs> okay, uh, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be able to see this one. Only the guy on the edge. Oh. This cliff face is higher than both of you. Even at a slope? Alright. Uh, yeah. Because he's below the slope. If I can, we'll still shoot at that man in full. Alright. One success. One shot. Uh, 96 hits the leg. It will hit a box. Uh, go oh, through the box. And... Oh, doesn't damage him. Um, just. Still His armor is just... The... Message yeah, sent. yeah. Got a big hole in the box now. <gasps> Victor! Yeah, armor. like it went through the box and fully hit him, but he's armor absolved. <laughs> I moved three meters. Uh, can I see both the guys behind the box? No, you'd have to like get to here to see that one. Uh, all right, this man it is. All right, boss man. Uh, boss man, I. Well, I don't want him moving. So I will I'm gonna do this with a two modifier of thirty. Um Yeah? Yes. Um this is Crush. What does he need to do? Uh, uh who poses this power with a toughness test. That was a six. Ah, but mine is a 20 out of 97! <laughs> ah, true. I have more successes. Yeah, you do. Alright. Alright. Crush his cock with a rock, you must. Crush. Uh, crush, pen 2. Uh, that is Righteous Fury. Okay. That's impact damage, Righteous Fury. Alright, uh... I, I didn't see. mean to kill this man. Uh, to his head, no less. Oh god! <laughs> uh, and two, yep. Four, eight, okay. Uh, roll the d5.
Okay. Uh. Pocket's nose breaks in a torrent of blood, blinding him for one round. Oh, as he's Must also... make a toughness test or be stunned for one round also. <laughs> he's also fucking pinned. Uh, he is stunned, and pinned, <laughs> and blind, and fucked. Yeah. Uh, I have the leader neutralized. Take care of the rest. <laughs> uh, my... I need a medic back. <laughs> Give up if you are wise. Mm. Oh, there I go. They don't actually say for a miracle. Right? No, they don't. And so it doesn't make sense. Um, I was gonna just shoot that guy, but now <laughs> we have a bit of pity <laughs> for him actually right now. Well, it's possible we might be able to capture him alive after that. I mean, he can't do anything. He needs to make a. Oh, he's stunned, so he can't even make his fucking check to escape the snare. I will half move, and. I can see this guy, right? I can see what's yep. shooting at us. Yeah, he's just in cover. Uh, oh, oh, gun. No aim. Or oh, range. I'll hit semi auto is every two degrees of success, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll give that a try. Well, my lucid skill's not that bad. Okay, it is. Okay. Uh, the Psyker, the more threatening Psyker, has been identified. That's just for Victor. <laughs> <laughs> Black pistols are gone. I nearly turned their boss's head into a crushed Pringle can. Uh, let's do a semi order for two bullets. No. Nice. Titania. I'd like to light somebody on fire tonight. Wanna kill the leader? Kill him? Nah. No. <laughs> you seem to really want me to kill him for some reason. He's, he's mine. I've got him. I'm holding him. Kill him and destroy any equipment he might be holding? No. I think he'll, he'll try to light this Destroy the force sword he has? Yeah, alright. <laughs> I don't need that force sword. I don't mind. <laughs> Cast. Sorry. Does not dodge. A modifier to go. Yep. Burn, baby, burn. This going burn. Burn, burn, baby, burn. Uh, does he gain bonuses from cover? I don't think you get bonuses to cover against a psychic power. I think you just combust. You can dodge it, but I mean, I am basically just manifesting a fire on top of him. Okay. Uh, in that case, he will. Live, barely. He, he does need to make an agility test. To yeah. Catch on fire, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now he's on fire. <laughs> Hooray! What's <laughs> his set? What happens now? I'm pretty sure he needs to make a he needs to make a roll power check or just panic. Well, does he take damage? Oh yeah, he does take a d10 first. Does it go through armor and toughness? Listen, okay, I'm trying to scroll to the flame section as fast as I can. <laughs> okay. I'm scrolling. Like, like it's like I, w I was on my way there immediately. Yep, yep. Fire. Okay, <laughs> High speed. He takes 1d10 energy damage, ignores armor, but not toughness, takes one level of fatigue, and... Uh... Alright, he will die. Now, this guy that is crushed. Uh, because he is an elite, I'm going to give him, uh, more saving throws. Wait, he's an elite from the Halo universe? Yeah, he's or, not a- or... he's not a goon, he's a named NPC, so he gets oh, to- Oh no, he's a named be... character! That's yeah, the most to... dangerous in Warhammer! He gets to not be permastunned. <laughs> oh, so, does toughness? Uh, for Snare? Yeah. Uh, for that, it is a minus 20 agility or strength check to get out. Oh. It's not actually promised on. Okay. 
Great. Yeah. Eh, nope. <laughs> he has a name. Get it. Oh, that's the red guy. Scythia. All right. Um. Uh, he is considered helpless. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Get fucked, you little wanker. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Where are you going? I run. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, low. <laughs> Gonna start shuffling forward with a half action. Oh. Yeah. Can I see this man? Or is the box is still open? Still no. You'd need to get that line of yours around this top box. Shut hey, I can up. just knock that top box off for you. And onto him. <laughs> and onto him. <laughs> just gonna keep walking forward. Fuck it. Right. Would you Would you like to have run? Uh, sure. Why not? That was eight. Yeah, another sixteen. Victor! We'll do you want to do that? And knock knock the box on him? Yep, uh, so give me, right. give me a second, let me just see if I can do it. I cast, I need to have say use of two. As bonus of 10, 20, 40. A bit. Yes! Right. Roll a d10 plus meters. Uh, one d5, and it goes two meters straight into his face. Yeah, d10 plus two for the damage. All right, let's slash d10 plus two. Damn Uh, that is not enough. Nope, still clocks him in the head and it's out of the way. Yeah, but it like almost crushes him. If only I could roll, like, a five on that and just watch it propel into his face at high speed. <laughs> he is very screaming. Uh, Jasper. Uh, hmm. Oh, he has... Does hip fire mean you can shoot in, point, like, point blank? Actually, pistols can already do that. Hip fire the talent? Hip firing is when, uh, you can move and shoot during that movement. And then still continue. Okay. Give me, give me, give me one sec. I want to test something. I'm gonna run. And I run and so far away. Ignore this. But I'm just, I'm just testing something. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how the fuck this is calculating all the numbers. Okay. Uh, this guy. Throws aside the last pistol and pulls out the shock maul. Too exotic. I was going to smack Scythia with it. Hold up, if I do this. Are these guys Arbites? No. I just have them. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I was just hoping there was something fortunate like. Oh, he struck maul jams! <laughs> what do you mean? Like Dania. Jam begins leaking out of one of the ends. Damn. <laughs> Damned. Oh wait, I don't have I don't have that good of agility. I was gonna try to move four. I'm like, no. That is not a sword. <laughs> I would like to try to light uh, let's see um I probably can't see him. Can I see him? Yep. Okay. Flame on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're welcome for removing the box. Thanks, appreciate it. I'm sure he'll appreciate it, too. <laughs> Look, a sale is very funny to you. He explodes. <laughs> Here's your fire. Oh. Oh, no, no, that's still enough. He explodes. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a lot of fun just moving shit around the <laughs> battlefield, quite honestly. <laughs> we became a lot more horrific once we actually started, you know... Both using psychic powers and just lighting everybody. Minus <laughs> 20! Oh, so close! See the earth. He's just died. Uh. Rosie? Rousey. Hmm. One sec, okay. Only one. Only one! <laughs> okay. Before you do anything, the man before you has, has a, a box pushed onto him. He was already trying to 
hold his guts in from a previous wound, uh, he shouts, Please, please don't kill me! I want to live! Please! Yeah, he should have thought about that before he <laughs> shot at us. This guy in particular didn't shoot anyone. Oh well. He doesn't have a weapon in hand. And a box thrown in his head. <laughs> Any particular bonuses involved in this? Um, you're gonna have a plus twenty as he cowers. Alright, he was executed with impunity. That now was Johnny it's, Space, the Emperor's son. Just the guy. Johnny Space! <laughs> Hello. That was Mr. Dark Heresy himself. <laughs> John Heresy. That is a very unfortunate Can, uh, name. Well, is this the half action take your shit? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, just start disarming him. He's helpless. Yeah, okay. So, you may take his bolt gun. Bolt pistol. Victor! Yeah, that's not really much. Yeah, so, to do. is it a free action to sustain that psychic power? Um, let me double check. Is it a half one? action? Psychic powers. Brush. Um, weirdly enough, it says sustained. No. But it has a subtype of concentration and attack. So they're just crushed until they manage to fight it off? I guess you don't need to concentrate on it, but he is continually stuck. <laughs> That's what it seems like. That's wild. Anyway, continue. It's fucking nuts. I uh, seriously yeah. would have thought you'd have to concentrate on that. I also I thought so. Well, that's nutty. Okay. Do you want to crush him some more? Uh, no, because I, I, uh, we need to talk to him. I guess I'll just... Oh, hang on. It's Hello, Nick, Nick would like to report in from across the room to remind Jesse of the rule he told him like a couple sessions ago. <clears throat> the snare is psi rating divided by two. That's why it isn't concentration. Oh... Right. Should he have oh. been freed by now? Oh. You know what? No, You're right. No. He should have been freed on that last one, I, I guess. But if it's my turn, then, I mean, hey, <laughs> I can get him again. Well, no, he should have had a turn, right? Alright, let him, let him, uh, let the yeah, man cook. I'm gonna put you back over there. He's still got his bolt gun. You know, I'll just turn back the turn. Does he value you his can. life? Uh, what, what Scythia did was unrelated. Uh, he will... Uh, for doing that, he will bolt gun you. That makes total sense. Blow your head off clean. Unfortunately, uh, I can't Mr. move President. that far on a half move, so... That's fine. Uh, roll a one, Luke. You know you want to. I'd love to. <laughs> roll a one and the yeah. bolt gun. <laughs> uh, that is two hits is two hits. I guess I can try to dodge. Isn't he prone? I guess he doesn't take any penalty of shooting from prone, because I remember me. I mean, Crush doesn't and... technically it doesn't make prone, man. Oh. Yeah, I can, I can stand try. there and be stuck. Yeah, I can try to dodge. No. I, uh, I, I catch it with my teeth. Uh, where does it hit me? Uh, let's see. Oh, head. Okay, I got good armor in my head. This is and bad, the second one also head. Okay, I'm gonna. I, ta I told you I catch it with my teeth. <laughs> with your teeth, <laughs> bruh. Oh. <laughs> Pen six. This is a vault gun, bruh. Your teeth are I resist gone. two. I resist Crow two play. damage from all that. What so, the uh, fuck? He's got my my bolt pistol. And I got pen four. Special bullets. So, um, let me check. Special you, bullets. You double checking to make sure he doesn't have a. Uh, I guess his bolt pistol is just better. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, NPC privilege. Oh, NPC privilege. All right. That's how it is. He's got a, guard armor, he's got right? a plus two oh. bolt pistol. Do you still have toughness to soak as well as your cranial armor? 
Uh, yes. I, I That still puts me at 8. For my head. Okay, but toughness isn't ignored by pen. Okay, so that's 3. Alright, so you'd resist 3 damage from both of those shots. Okay, so I take 10 damage, and I'm at 1 current wound, and then I take... Ah, fuck. 12, 12 more! Puts me at, uh, negative 10, uh, negative 11. Okay, your head explodes. Outright. You need to burn a fate point for this. Alright, I roll a d10. If I get a 10, I, I don't lose it. Get fucked. Alright, uh. I now have only one fate point left. Jesus hey. fucking Christ, dude! Why am I head twice? Just, that's just how it rolled. All right, Victor's gone. I guess I need new character. Not gone. Just a little less fatey. Yeah, a little, little less ha have goofy. a little. Two sessions and I've lost two fate points. Next uh, session. There is a the spray end. of b blood all around you. Butter? Uh, each of the target allies within two meters. Okay, none of them. Okay. Nothing else happens. But Victor is down. Scythia kills that guy. Hello. Well, this drastically changes my choice. It does, doesn't it? Fucking mince him. Uh, yeah. We don't really have a choice now. Uh, he just fucking minced Victor and we don't have anything to contain him. So... Fucking gonna have to aim and fall out of this man. You got, you got stuff to mince him. Just walk up, put your gun into his the back of his kneecap, and then fire. It's true. It's true. I mean, I'll be using part of that word on my turn. <laughs> Damn it! Guess what? No, I, 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 I. This man does not deserve to get interrogated. See, if you uh, don't interrogate him, then Lucas won. See, he, he spins to face you, he looks rabid and furious. I don't think there is an interview with this man. Oh! Okay. <laughs> okay. Six additional successes. That is I wouldn't have executed this guy if... If I oh, had the other guy free when it was my turn. <laughs> hey, let's see. I'll replace that three with a seven. Or ten damage. Well, you see, one. the first shot domes him, and then you put two more on him for good measure. Yeah, he just fucking basically killed my, my boy. Yeah. He does not deserve to be alive anymore. I can't believe you capped me in one. Fuck, that was some high damage you rolled. Bolt gun. <laughs> Classic Fuck. bolt gun. Bolt gun plus mm. six, Jesus. Did you not have Psyker dodge? No! Why? It's like because all Because I rolled the worst possible stats for making a Psyker. So almost yeah. all my XP yeah. has gone into... Jesse, I'm, gonna put, I'm just going to put this out there. Uh, You might want to roll a new character. Because you do not have time to heal these critical wounds, and you're I, just gonna die again. I know, buddy. I don't even know what the fuck to play as now. I'd also like to say, um, you you, you did you did buy Psy rating four, Jesse. You you could have bought Psy Psy dodge for about a less than half that. Anyways, I run over and try to help Victor. <laughs> I I could have. I could Victor have. the victim. I'd like to point out that this guy I executed would not have been executed if that man's turn had been. Been taken oh, at yeah, sure. appropriate time still have someone. because That's I fine. was in half move distance of the dude with the bolt gun. If I knew he could attack people, I would have gone to him instead. Right. His fate changing. Wait, so does that mean you could have parried his bolt gun when he killed Victor? No. Um. So the rules on bodyguard are very vague. Okay. 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 It's after an enemy makes a successful attack against an ally, the character may use a reaction to move up to 
his half move distance in order to interpose himself between the attacker and the target. Yeah, you're not going to be the between each other. Is then at all. Result... Yeah, see, that's what I was going off. Because it doesn't say I have to be next to the person. It just. No. Yeah. Which makes it kind of weird in melee, but I think. But I think how I did it before, just getting up next to them. So I'm like in melee range of the person attacking. Yeah, I agree with you, but not in this case. But yeah, no, in yeah. this case, like I, I would, what, what, I would need to have been able to get to like here to intercept, like, uh, like no, this. No, you will not no, jump on me. I would, yeah. I would have had to go. All right, I think I'm gonna make a tech person this time. That'll be great. Cool. Um, all right, how the fuck do I do this character creation? Let's go. No, no, you're gonna scratch the fuck out of me. No, no, you're gonna do to me oh, with that man's bolt like, gun. I interpose my myself in between. Use a half move to interpose myself in between, and then the attackers resolved against me. Jesse, uh, uh, if you'd like, you can make your character from this world, Hive Desolium, and have a, a different homeworld bonus. It was Jesse's character is. right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll work for you guys. I mean, yeah, for the rest of the session, I'd say you can play that guy. Nah, I gotta make an actual character. Yeah, this fucking. Yeah, he's a monkey. Right. Slash, oh, 1d100. Uh, if you want to be from this hive world. Oh, I'm from a forge oh. world. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm, ro I'm rolling that shit. Well, I mean, I'm, just, I'm just giving you the option. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I roll a d10 to see if I get an extra fate threshold. Gain 1d5 insanity for breaking here's the a, Here's a different yeah. fun fact about Bodyguard. Uh -huh. uh, it's, it's a reaction and not any kind of movement action, so technically it doesn't provoke. Oh, okay. Because you provoke when you take any kind of movement action that's not a disengage. Yeah, I dig that. Yeah. All right. So, in the aftermath of this aftermath of this battle, the uh, lone ganger lays down his arms, lays on the ground, and a victor down the way. He's in a pool of his own blood as his skull is split open. <laughs> Yeah, it seems right. Can't believe this man took the sharpshooter F button and actually used it. Also, servitors. They were watching. Those fuckers. Hey man, this ain't their job. They're here to make the elevator work. They're meant to be brainless. Uh, each of these guys had a las pistol and a shock mole. If you want either of those, those are cool, right? Uh, they each also have a lot of money, which doesn't do anything in game, but money. perhaps you could use it to roleplay. I mean, take the money. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're gonna be interacting with more of these guys, and they might like money. Hey, okay, you yeah. know what? Uh, somebody put in their inventory, uh, money equal to, uh, rare minus 20. Hey, how do I, what do I do for stat rolling again? Characteristics, it's, it's like 1d10 plus 20 or something? No, it's like 2d10 plus 10? Your, your homeworld gives you pluses and minuses, baseline yeah. is 2d10 plus 20. But on a plus, you roll 3d10, you keep the highest two, and on the minus, you roll 3d10, you keep the lowest two. Alright, well, as usual, I suck at weapon skill. So you, cho uh, you chose the home world first, because that'll be important to the actual rolls, right? Yeah, I know. I gotta use in, I get a bonuses to my intelligence and toughness, and that's uh, and a minus to my fellowship, naturally. Who yeah, wants to good. loot the main guy? Did you say minus 20? Clearly Jasper, because there's bolters gunned on him. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just, just sigh, look over at Victor's corpse, and check if this guy's any incriminating shit. He's just, he just got no head. Teeth. 
I, 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 you can see like the the fucking metal plating in my head, <laughs> massively uh, yeah. dented. Okay, plus, uh, plus two bolt pistol. Yeah, he's got his bolt pistol that has six pen. It's got uh, seven. Yeah, is it, you, you six yeah. pen bolt pistol? It has more pen and damage than a default bolt pistol. Yep, uh, plus six damage, plus six pen. Yep. Fuck, I'm strong though. Uh, he's got two spare clips for it, so that's ten in each. If it was for the chest, that would have killed any of us. Two spare clips? Yeah. How many the, the clip that's in it? Yep. So it's a 10, a 10, and a 7. Uh, he's got a grenade. Uh, make a... What hmm. kind of... Does anybody have, like, any kind of military lore? Or weapons lore? Our bites. I know about the Adeptus Astra Telepathica, and that's it. That ain't it. Just Goblin Lord. And right. just Grenada. Alright, uh, give me a logic test. Plus zero. Holy oh shit. shit. Okay. Uh, this is a hallucinogen grenade. Oh no, my lord. Holy shit. Nice. Yeah. Uh, he's got a diamond ear stud, platinum rings, uh, and he's also got a satchel full of goods. It's, it's loot time, my dude. Uh, if Titania would approach the bag, uh, you would notice some resonance with your own artifact. Hey, you can like straight reroll one, um. Yeah, one of them. One of them. I I'd like to do that with my weapon skill because it's fucking garbage. And what does your 2d10 keep a lowest two? <laughs> because that's what the that's that's the negatives for the um. What are you talking about? You, you need to you need to roll three d ten to keep the lowest two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I then I then I rolled the extra set the extra one d ten, and it was a six and a seven, so thirty three. Right. What? You need all the extra trouble. Look, to I, keep I fucking two. I fucking thought it was a three d ten, but I fucked up. <laughs> two d yeah, ten, yeah. keep both of them. Two d ten, keep highest two thirty three. Oh, you're right. Let, let, let me let me roll yeah. another. Ah, oh, there there you go. Yeah, so. Maybe 35 for my intelligence. Yay. Alright. Okay, who wants the cursed objects? I want them. Give them to me. Alright. I'm the psyker. It's my duty. Yeah, as you approach, uh, you... Uh, you oh. hear a... Well, you feel a buzzing sensation emanating from your own trinket. Uh, akin to a swarm of locusts. Turn off this Uh, no, just you. Uh, how much influence do I start with? Just 20? No, you roll for it. Just roll like your other stats. Oh, okay. Mm. 2d10. Okay. First, First thing you find is a, a locked leaden box. Hmm. Is that in the satchel? Yeah, in the satchel. Uh, the next thing you find is. Another fucking orb. This one's a bit smaller. I'm so tempted just to throw that into a fucking. <laughs> I don't care about it. But we need it. And the third thing you find is a vial of purple liquid. <laughs> no. I don't like that. No. <laughs> I don't remember you asking, what's that purple drink? Yep. From McDonald's the other day. <laughs> the Grimace shake. The Grimace cum shot. That's like the ultimate. Obviously, it doesn't right? look like that. There's a little description of what it looks like. I mean, if it did look like that, I don't think that's the language we can read. That isn't gothic, so you know, it looked just as mysterious. <laughs> of course. 
This menacing so purple juice. liquid. Did anybody else hear that? Oh yeah, you also get a map. Mm. Uh, you, you find a very, very crudely drawn uh, sketch map of uh, what looks to be a path leading from Hive Desleum out to a camp in the wasteland. What kind of armor were these guys wearing? Uh, light flak armor. Though all of it is now damaged. I mean, I was just curious, because, you know, I was thinking, like, you know, we might be able to disguise ourselves, but it probably wouldn't work. Anyways, I take off all of Victor's uh, rosettes and, you know, oh, yeah. imperial psyker identification. Yeah, Kick him once in the him and then <laughs> Throw him in the dumpster. What else am I going to do with him? I really got to pee. Oh! <laughs> Open his ass! <laughs> The fresh urine all made out of his mouth. All right. Of After tears. going through, going through these items, you begin to hear uh, the the clanking report of the lift finally coming into view. God, it's slow. Damn, I can't believe people used to escape on this thing. <laughs> hey, you have your your alive guy. What are you gonna do with him? Why were you here? Tell me. Just want to ask him what he was doing. Who paid you? Who brought you? Why? Yeah. I mean, interrogate. Appropriate. Uh, yeah. To use use interrogate. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't have any training. In this. Our interrogate I, shop, man. Our actual... I had interrogate yeah. trained, but I'm fucking gone. <laughs> You fucking dead now. We tried to get someone to interrogate for you. you fucking dog. I told you I'd eat the fucking bullet, and uh, there I, I did it. Do we get any systems? I'm not trained. I can't do this, yeah. I PC assist by putting me? the twin link bolter gun to the I back cannot. of his fucking neck. Okay. I don't really know how much that would really even threaten me if I was him. It's just like, you just killed all my friends. Like, you're clearly going to kill me in a second. Main point. Oh, oh my god. Close. This man cares not for your threats. Uh, he's not... He's not, like, refusing to tell you things. He's just, like, too scared and jittery to say anything useful. One sec, I'm about to make he's a like, poor decision. He was like, we're just transporting the goods that... In there, in the satchel. You can have a... Who are you meeting? Uh, the... The, the rest of our... G gang, uh... They're outside I'm, I'm the life. linking to his brain. Telepathic link, resist me. Okay. Uh, he has to make a willpower test. Rips all the secrets straight no. out of his cranium. A Soyuz 1. Modifier 10. I shouldn't no. Wait a second. Fail? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have to actually manage to successfully cast it first. Okay. Because, you know, if it doesn't actually go through, what is it going to do? Cook his brain. <laughs> Just looking at him real hard. It'll work I'll do eventually. It there we go. I don't think he can actually win through that. It's like four degrees. Is oh, it's, here... it's opposed, is it? Yeah, no. Does anyone mm -hmm. know how to operate a vehicle? Yes. So anyways, I will use it to read his mind. Okay. What's he uh, thinking about? His mind is thinking of... Like, his life is ruined, he doesn't know what he's gonna do with himself now. The, the smuggling life was all he had. Smuggling. He doesn't okay, know so you're doing this, does he? I, th well, I mean, considering he's resisting, I feel like he can feel me jackhammering his brain. Oh, okay. However, what happened there, in the warehouse? There is a Why section of thought reading, okay? I'm gonna copy and paste it into Roll20 because it's, it's... It depends on how you want to interpret it. Cool. Hmm. 
We're jacking in. The higher the PR of the power. Okay. I did cast it at one for that, just to jack. Okay, so I think you. He's fully aware. Uh, you don't get surf surface thoughts. You get uh, useful thoughts determined by the PR. Yeah. Okay. So do you want to cast that with more PR? Oh yeah, I'll do it again. All right. Uh, we want information out of him. He's being a piece of shit, and I don't. I don't feel like we nice to him. <laughs> <laughs> Failure. Do it again. <laughs> Come on, make a demon. Thing. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty good degrees of success, and that's max power. I don't think he can beat that. Oh my god. I guess he can. I mean, that's still three degrees of success out of me. It's the same amount. Yeah, but like, he crit. <laughs> it's a natural 20, man. It's not 20. I should be able to jump 500 feet. <laughs> <laughs> I jump like Saitama to the moon. Nat 20. <laughs> okay, how much XP do I have, buddy? Uh, same as everyone else currently. Uh, Bar Rosie. Uh, Nick, what's your XP total? 3170, I think. 3170. Yeah. I mean, hey, hey that's, but... that's like what you had already, right? Alright, I'm ready to roll in as a living tank. You're done already. <laughs> no. Okay. Anyways, so he managed to resist it again? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'll do it again. <laughs> Infinite <laughs> spell slots. Standing here as I'm staring daggers into his soul. It's like, free to do. The only risk is demons. Hmm? Uh, yep, that'll succeed. What was the PR on that? That was four. Okay. Uh, you'll get uh, vivid memories of... Uh, the firefight in the storehouse. Uh, you get a uh, a name attached to them as well. Uh, this man knows uh, those cultists as the Callers of Sorrow. Callers of Sorrow. Uh, their purpose there was to uh, take back Xenos artifacts from them and sell them to other cultists. Can I tell that they wanted what was in the bag? Like the lockbox and all that. Oh, you want to know what's in the lockbox? No, I'm asking, like, can I tell from his memories that that's the Xenos artifacts that the cultists wanted was whatever's in the lockbox? Yeah, yeah. The things they have with them are some of the things that they are retrading. So there wasn't a trade. They were just there to steal them? Yeah, it was an assault. Okay. No deal mm -hmm. went down. Uh, he was planning to go with his leader, uh, Jarek Trinal, uh, to their, uh, dune buggy, and then take it out to the, to their trade sable camp, where they would then, uh, collect, uh, the rest of their things, and receive new orders. He doesn't know more past that. Alright, I finished building around his brain. I've got good news and um, bad news. The, the guy is just weeping at this point. You've opened him and read him like a book. I feel yeah. like that hurts like a mother. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, resisting headache. this brain infiltration like five times in a row. Gotta uh, hurt his brain. He's pudding. To be fair, a couple of times I didn't even succeed in casting it, so. Anyways, um, they they got attacked by the cultists. They were afterwards inside the lockbox that was in the bag. Hmm. They were heading above ground to go and get in a dune buggy vehicle to go with the rest of their artifacts and get off world. They have a camp nearby. There are more of them in camp. Probably. It's a lot of vivid flashes, it's a um, sort of an unpleasant thing to do. Anyways, that man's name was Jarek, by the way, in case you care. Oh. 
Man, we can probably kill him now. No, no, please. Are there okay. more of you in your camp? Yeah, uh, there are a dozen more. And the buggy, is it just off the elevator? Yeah, I, I could show you. You could have it. And then, will you let me go? Well, hmm. We could release you from service. I suppose I don't really care whether you live or die. Alright. Uh, do you intend to let him go? And if so, uh, deceive or charm. I don't think I he really knows would've... what's going on here, so I don't really care. We don't have I any of them now. I'm personally fine with letting him go, I'm not even lying. What no, kind I of weapons care. should we expect? Uh... Scythia, do Intimidate plus 20. Spots. Uh, intimidate 20. All right. Uh, he spills. Uh, uh, the rest of us individually aren't packing much, but the camp's pretty uh, decked out. There's um, it's got uh, the wall, heavy stubber, it's, uh, sniper tower, uh, it's an armory. I'm not sure what's in there. Uh, probably a lot. I think. Honestly, Jarek had the the best gun. Pretty sure. Well, that's good to know. He's Everyone's good. jealous. Not anymore. There. I now, I now, I hold like I inspect the two bolt guns I now have in my hands. Like, mm, this is pretty great. The elevator arrives. Hey, Billy, how come your mom lets you have two bolt guns? <laughs> <laughs> Looks over at Lowe's gun. Twin link it. <laughs> Twin link the bolt pistol. Oh, that oh, was so lit. Yeah, you could only fire it, like, twice before it runs out of it. Yeah, that would be the biggest problem. It'd be like a tiny storm bolt or Yeah, it doesn't double the ammo, it just eats more. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna pick up Victor's body and take him onto the elevator. All right, sure. I'm gonna give him a cool funeral outside the Hive City walls. <laughs> what do you mean, go no? I'm not dead. <laughs> you aren't. No, I rolled a fade by. I burned right. one. I'm still alive. Throw him in the pit. In the pit. In the. Well, you wanted to make a new character. You told no. me to make a new character. Which was like gargling on blood. I, uh, like, I'm still alive. I honestly think. You're just gonna get into another combat and get shot once. <laughs> you know? Wait, 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 how good are your stats, Jesse? Uh, all of the my new stats character. are. Uh, no, no, weapons. The new okay, so, in order 35, 31, 35, 35, 37, 35, 31, 29, 33, and 31. Really yeah. good. That's yeah, that's really pretty good. good. Yeah, maybe you should die. I was gonna I... say, if you roll bad, live, and then die again, and then re roll. Power is my lowest stat again. It's okay, you're not a psycho, right? <laughs> no, not this time. Fucking not. <laughs> no more, I don't need willpower, but I have high intelligence, which is great, because I'm the mechanical man. All right. I'm the mechanical man, dude. dude. Uh, Incredible uh, how you all step on, and one of the servitors moves and plugs into the, the, like, the machine on the side. And some gears shift, and the elevator starts to go up. Give him a nod. Does not nod back. Understandable. <laughs> so anyway, Smuggler, um... How long have you been doing this for? Please don't ask me personal questions. I can get the answers by force if I want to, so you might as well just answer me. <laughs> I'm just uh, joking, you're not actually gonna make it. It, it all started when I slept with your mother. What? Mm. Did I tell you? Damn, I can't believe it's how I met my mother. <laughs> Man, I can't believe it got that hot out. Anyway, uh, it, 
it's going to take about uh, 10 minutes for this elevator. Jesus. Uh, in the meantime, you want to fiddle around with those artifacts? Sure. Yeah, sure. I'll go pop open the lockbox and we'll see what's in here. Pop, lock, and drop. All right. There's going to be nothing good, by the way. I'm hearing a locust noise coming out of it. Mm. Uh, 56. Uh, the smuggler will say, uh, I wouldn't open that if I were you. Shit's cursed. Is it any worse than this? And I pull out the skull pendant. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know, probably. They're all kind of fucked, you know? Well, we can always relock it again if it's too awful. What are you guys, some uh, rival smugglers? We're Ghostbusters. We're like, we're like reverse smugglers. Yeah. <laughs> cops? <laughs> yes, cops. I guess that's probably the closest way to put it. Alright. Great, my, my divination is violence solves everything. <laughs> Great! Uh, the lockbox has an inbuilt lock. Uh, it is a minus 20 security test. I guess the guy wouldn't have the key on him. I don't know why. No, he, he does not. If only I was I, there, I'd <laughs> smash it. It's so easy. I thought we got the vial and stuff from in the lock. No, it's a separate thing. There's a lockbox, there's an orb, there's a vial. So it's um, a lock lock, physical lock, or a digi lock? It's a physical one. Alright. Multi key! Yep. I always need to. You really want to open it while we're in such a state? Yeah, okay, never mind, actually. We'll figure this out later. It's probably best if we don't open it. Right Who's now. opening it right now? Not opening it. Right the cult has said the key. And on top of that, um, the noise I'm hearing, it's probably actually not the best idea if we open it right now. Alright, we'll leave it closed then. I'll Which put the it in my key away. <laughs> the, the locust noise is forever and constant while you are near these items. Yeah, does anyone else have clues from the crowd? No. 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 Alright, I guess I'll take it. You think I have the EXP? That's a fellowship thing, right? Hold clues yes. from the crowd. I think no. it, it's on my might get eventually list. You're right, I should just instead have ambidextrous. Mm -hmm. Oh, having a nice, peaceful uh, elevator ride. Could do with a bit of first aid. Oh, you want some of that, huh? <laughs> Missing right. a decent chunk of health. Okay, how damaged you? I must now go look at the Medicaid rules once again to remind myself how it works. It's twice your toughness bonus, right? Correct. Which What's I, that? For that, it, for me, it would be eight. Okay, I've only so taken you, six damage. So you're lightly damaged. Okay, yeah, I have plus ten of my med kit, so it's just basically a Medicaid test for the plus ten. When do y'all guys have numbers on your tokens? That was from the okay. other map. Over. I'll, I'll give you a fate point. How many meters we were down? Okay, that's all you get. No health? No health. You want no a health. grenade, Lou? I can make I'm trying to medicate myself. Oh, there I go. See, I can medicate myself just fine. Pretty sure it's from a standard health. grenade. More of a hallucinogenic. I gladly pocket the hallucinogenic. I don't think I can actually give Medicaid a victor in first aid form. Also, how quickly can you uh, modify a weapon? Oh, not too bad. Um, depends if you got the parts. Well, I. Put both the bolt pistols on the ground in front of you. Oh, this one's got a red dot sight. Can you put it on this one? <laughs> oh yeah, well, one's got a red dot and the other one's just better. Yeah, that's Let's the choose. difference. Because my, my ballistic's not good, so the red dot sight is really useful. So it's actually a toss-up of which one I should use. 
You have your DPS bolt pistol and your support bolt pistol. You're actually able to hit bolt pistol. <laughs> so, uh, it would take me a couple hours. <laughs> mm. All right. What? Something to hold on to? Well, we'll talk about it after we kill some more smugglers. But we're more than happy to do that. Okay, I guess I'm taking all the heretical items, so I'll stick the purple vial. Oh, so anyways, okay. while we have a captive audience, what's the purple vial for? If you're concerned about any of them, I'd be happy to care. Well, I, don't, I don't actually know what these are. I just know they're bad. Okay. They're... It's the fucking... The inheritors that want them. They can do whatever they want with them. Not our problem. Yeah, anyway, so Scythia, if you want to carry them, I don't mind. You can, you can have the orb and... Actually... You can have all three if you really want them. The box is making this awful locust noise with the necklace, and it is, uh... Horrific. I assume I can only hear it because of my propensities. I'm happy to carry them until we find a, a proper way to dispose of them. Alright, so Scythia's got those three new things? Yeah. Got it. They're all ours. Alright. The elevator reaches the top. I made a map for this. In case, for some reason, you would get up here, and they were also here, and you would fight each other. But that was very I guess, unlikely. I guess that's like the uh, the good ending, where we get on the elevator with them after convincing them that we just want to need to go upstairs. <laughs> yeah, and then you'd like fight each other at the gatehouse. Uh, speaking of which, uh, passage through the gatehouse, uh, the... Your, your smuggler prisoner produces some fake ID for him. How are you getting through? We have IDs. All oh, right, yeah, your fucking biscuit, whatever. Yeah, we're actual <laughs> citizens. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that, and we actually have, like, you know, citizens' IDs. Yeah, uh, the sanctionaries at the gate will also ask why you're going outside. Uh, the... Oh. Your, your new friend will uh, say that his reason is he's... Uh, going out to do trade with some of the factions outside the hive, and they're like, oh, sure. In our, capacity, in, yes, as in, in our capacity as investigators for our company, we are following a trail related to some deaths in the lower hive. It leads outside. Okay, uh, the sanctionaries uh, are, like, they're not uh, on high alert. That's fine. No problems there. Better not be. Uh, you exit out onto the wastes of Desilium. Uh, hearth, hot, dusty, sandy, horrible. Uh, but just outside the hive, there are a series of... Um... Uh, vehicle bays and stables. Literally stables, because there are horses. Oh my god. But not the horses that we know. Uh, these are glass steeds. They are a strange, uh, living, crystal-based looking horse. That's metal as fuck, what the hell? That's pretty cool. Uh, there are numerous vehicle bays. Um... Some are just reserved garages for people who own the vehicles, and there's also uh, ones you can like rent and buy. There are there's like a you know like a car dealership sort of vibe going on here. Mm. But uh, your prisoner will lead you to the one they own. Uh, he asks for, uh, the bag that had all the, the stuff in it. It's like, the keys are in there. 
you know, for the garage. Yeah, alright. I'll give him the keys. Yep. Uh, he... Almost the garage, and within you see, uh, like a rather large, you know, uh, grim dark looking dune buggy. Congratulations, you have unlocked. Ah. Oh. Time to up. We got a rock. Oh my god, that's, that's great. Actually, it's <laughs> not a dune buggy. It's like a ATV. transport thing, yeah. ATV coming in. Uh, if you look at the gear, you'll find that uh, affixed to the top of it is a heavy stubber. Man, this shit's fucking confusing. Uh, do any of you understand what a pintle mounted weapon is? Swivel mount! Swivel mount! I'll light that voice on the sky it's on fire. So there's like a hatch on the top, like you would find on the top of a tank, and there is a, a heavy stubber mounted on a pintle that can be rotated 360 degrees. So full coverage. Well, I know what I'm doing. Getting on the heavy stubber after a twin Lincoln. <laughs> uh, your prisoner sort of pats his pants and goes, Oh, I'll, uh, just gonna go back in and find something to do. Alright. Uh, I don't, I don't think so. I really, I am actually kind of surprised how you were going to let him go. Uh, he makes a break for it. <laughs> Starts running back to the gate. Face him down. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're not all in a... Um, alone area. There's heaps of people here. Yeah, that's, that's why I wasn't trying... That's why I'm not lighting him on fire. <laughs> you going to cut him down? Yeah. You can easily catch him. All right. Minus 50 subtlety. Yeah, it's gonna, that's gonna lose you some subtlety. I don't care. <laughs> sure. We just lose enough subtlety, we just gotta start flashing our rosettes everywhere. Oh yeah, the uh, low subtlety isn't necessarily bad, it just locks out stealth options. Yeah. A lot of them got a shit ton of work, like putting on a whole disguise and like... Covering yourself in grime, then they walk in the front and go, oh, that's a member of the Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> they look underneath like a trash heap or your Us thing. without dudes in Tempestus Carapace Oliver. That's why I wasn't lighting him on fire, because I'm like the most distinct person here. Uh, okay, so people, other people in the garage are starting to run and scatter at the murder. Uh, they're starting to call for the sanctionaries. Uh, despite this, uh, a lone wanderer approaches you. <laughs> Yo, what up, homie? You've got balls? Damn right I do. I don't know, God. That's... <laughs> I thought it was an NPC, I'm like... It is an NPC, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I really want that to be Jesse's character. <laughs> it would have been great entrance, but no, I'm. I'm sure I, I'm... I can work at a good entrance for you. Look, I am making this character as stupid as I fucking can. I have fifty toughness. Oh god. Holy okay. Shit. Bro, you can get tier three talents already, bro. Yeah, bro. Uh, don't worry. None of the tier three talents really appeal to me, so <laughs> I'm just going for those luminant ones, which are going to be very funny. Okay. A um. A man with a, a weather-creased face and protective garb. Uh, something you'd expect someone from the desert would wear. Uh, approaches you. He says, uh, You lot uh, not around. Uh, not from around here, are you? <laughs> not in the slightest. 
might not be aware of the laws against murder, but be that as they may, I assume you want to get out of here, out into the wastes. Yes, we well, would have a car. Right, but do you have a guide? Mm. We have a map. A map will do you hardly any good in the open lands. Now, I appreciate your sudden generosity, but you just saw one of us murder somebody and you want to come along with us willingly? Look. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold now, on. Now, now, just now, now hear me out. <laughs> well, I'm not, not leading you me. into a trap. I didn't think you killed him at all. I thought you just laid him down to rest with that nice It wasn't even a peaceful killing. She chased him down with a fucking chainsaw. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's fucking terrifying. The Michael Damn. Myers shit. I am but a humble guide offering my services. You would be wise to hire me. Is this the same old man from three hours ago? Like, no, oh, no. Right it, away. He's very different. You've chosen poorly. Old men are so sus in this game, man. He's not an old man. He's when like you a... described him, I was like John Wayne. No, he's he's got a weather creased face. It's not wrinkly. He's just worn and torn. With a beard. So, how much are you exactly looking for? Uh... For an insert number here amount of script. Oh, I can ensure that your uh, journey through the open lands will be as safe as they can be. Is this is the insert number reasonable or unreasonable? It's quite reasonable, yeah. Well, I just happen to have money equal to minus 20 rare item question mark. <laughs> okay, it's, it's not that much. It's yeah, an no, insignificant amount. Pay him Basically amount free for the purposes of gameplay. Basically free. Because yeah. I'm also like a millionaire. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Him saying that it's not cheap as a reasonable amount. It's it's not lot. cheap. It's just money it's just doesn't money. exist in this game. You guys <laughs> have an amount of money that you can use to pay for moderate things. Like this guy is either like the best double agent ever, or he is like stone cold a businessman. So <laughs> They clearly got cash. Man lives outside most. the Hive City. I'm pretty sure he's got a dog shit life in that script. Fellas, he eats. scrutiny exists. Yeah. Make a scrutiny yeah. test. Scrutiny is terrible, and I just man's... like him. Quick, okay. everyone scrutinize this man. man. He wants to steal a car. He wants the car, not the car. Yeah, yeah in inside him, inside him. Yeah, inside him. Yeah. I oh, trust him implicitly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sunday. Oh, wow, Do you trust me with every cell in my body? <laughs> I'm fucking totally distracted. I'm more worried about the fucking car right now. You turn around and he's like, thanks. Fucking okay. shoots you in the back of the head like a courier, you are. Oh, Scythia and Titania, you determine that uh, this man is not one of the general population, as they would be running like the rest of them. This man has something else going on with him. Read his mind. Okay, uh, Luke. Reading them, put him in the car and read his mind. I'd like you to know <laughs> that. Um, That's fucked up. I'd like you to know that uh, because my character is part of the Adeptus Mechanicus, uh, all cybernetic parts count as two levels uh, more available. Rare items count as average. Very rare items count as scarce, etc. Yeah, Holy I know. Shit. It's so good. It's so good. I'm yeah. going to be so fucking capped up with him, please. More machine than man, as good. God intended. Give me that auto sanguine. Bring <laughs> me the auto sanguine uh, talent where you just get to heal yourself by concentrating. Yeah, pretty much. That that's what I'm going for. So, do, do you want to take this guy I'm, or no? I don't think I think we should. I think we should take him. He seems to be different than the rest of the people here. I think he just wants money. Come on. I don't think he'd be much of a problem if he did try to cause one anyway. He could guide us into a trap. Well, then he'll guide himself into a shallow grave lit on fire. You're not that stupid, are you? I assure you there are many dangers of the wastes, and 
Without me, you would be stumbling into most of them. Yes, let's go. Let's get in the car before the sanctionaries show up. Do we have Victor's corpse? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Corpse. Still <laughs> got it. <laughs> we literally went up an elevator in the middle of like a super populated area carrying a corpse. And everyone was like, mm hmm. I'm Honestly, not probably not that uncommon. We yeah. went out. Uh, it, okay, our excuse city. to leave is we're burying time. our friend. Of course. Oh, I'm performing an investigation. This is my friend. He's uh, currently between lives. <laughs> now, as hey. thrilling as all this conversation is, we probably should get him move on. Yeah, you see some sanctuaries round the corner and some locals point in your direction. Getting in the car and starting it. Yep, uh, hello, it's time for navigate surface. Oh and God. operate land vehicle. With a plus 50 from a guide, right? <laughs> no, he does other things, like survival. I don't have navigate <laughs> surface, but let's go. No, he can probably do that. Does he have that trained? He doesn't actually. What the Ooh. fuck? Where the fuck um, is I'm pretty sure Navigate okay. Surface is a fucking specialty, isn't it? I do remember we had to train it back when we were the All Guards. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some of you did have it. The best shit ever. <laughs> right. Operate we Surface Vehicle, off. let's go. It's gonna crap out immediately. Yeah! Uh. Okay, you hit a couple things on the way out of the stables, but you do drive out. One horse, two cool? horse, three horse, four. Alright, well, you're out of the Hive City. Alright, um... Uh, your guide will introduce themselves as Milano. L A N O. Alright, Lano. Uh, nice to meet the cookie master himself. Yeah. We are Before the making your company. daring escape, you made sure to bring food and water, didn't you? Yeah, we have some food and water. I got alcohol. Our supplies have been permanently ambiguous up to this point. <laughs> That's an interesting way to say that. Someone could describe our ability to eat and drink as, um, irrelevant redacted. <laughs> uh, let's see. If this vehicle follows standard patterns, it should have some emergency supplies here. Uh, the EC pops open a wall cabinet, and there is, like, a, like a med pack and some, uh, like, jerry cans of water and stuff. And, yes, there is... Stuff. We can eat, Victor. I'm, gl I'm glad our oh. ambiguous food supplies have been replenished with ambiguous sources. Yes, it's ambiguous where you have uh, plentiful access to food, but out here, you will not. Uh, let's see. So, how this is going to work is that... Uh, food and water will be counted on units of provisions. They weigh half a kilogram each, and this emergency supply pack has 30 in them. Mm. Uh, you will okay, need, thanks. You'll need to eat guy, three of these guy. every day, <laughs> each of you. Or what? Or start dehydrating and starving. What if I start drinking my own piss? Remember, remember starve rules from other game? Mm. Like that. I don't actually. Uh, yeah, fatigue. You guys never starve. Fatigue each day for a day of not eating. Uh, and fatigue doesn't really do a whole lot to begin with, so we could probably easily stretch that out much more. Yeah. Thanks. The Emperor sustains. Yeah, Persis states. Like at the bare minimum, we could at least multiply the 
how long it's going to last by two. Probably more than that, at least by three. We look at the map. Is it to scale? How far? Um, it's not to scale in the slightest. There is no legend. Uh, it is just a couple of landmarks where it's like, make a slight right turn here. Go across this, the, the right side of this canyon. That sort of thing. We'll show it to the guard. Uh, yeah, he takes a look and says, Yes, you would absolutely die if I was not here. Uh, I <laughs> think I know what some of these are. Uh, where are you going? What is this? A camp? I'll point at the end of the map. The, yes, the camp? Yep. Alright. Uh, yes, I'm sure I can get you there. All right. Uh, he uh, he opens the the hatch of the the viator and peers out at the distant landscape, and then points out a direction to Lou. And he says, "Go that way." On it. <laughs> yep. How many requisitions do I have? Two. Your influence bonus. Oh yeah, it's um, it's your influence bonus. So if you've got 30-something, that's 3. 20-something yeah. is 2. Oh yeah, I've got 3. Okay. I get 3 tries to try and get stuff with a... No, you don't get tries, you just get things that are scarce or higher. Scarce or higher? Unless they're technology implants, then they're 2 steps below scarce. Okay. You can start with some mechadendrites. I do want mechadendrites. Uh, Those things I'm are sick. I do, I know, right? I, I Look, I'm considering getting a Medicaid one and a, a different one, but I also don't know how many I can have. I think it's meant to be my willpower bonus rounded down. Probably uh, toughness. Hey, I've got five toughness. I'm fucking, I'm fucking bitching. God damn. God damn. Okay. It's because I'm going to the Luminant. The maximum number of mechadendrites you can have installed is equal to his toughness bonus. I can have five. I can have God five man. fucking mechadendra. That's fucking terrifying. Each of those could hold a gun and shoot it. <laughs> no, unfortunately. Surely. This last pistol mechadendra, you can have five last pistols, shoot it. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Uh, what is everybody's toughness bonus? Oh, five. Three. Three. Fucking hey. terrible. A character can remain in the wastes without issue for a number of hours equal to their toughness bonus. If you're wearing truly inappropriate garb, such as something that exposes a lot of skin, or leaves little room for ventilation, halve this time. If you're traveling in a vehicle with a fully enclosed roof, add an hour. Wait, so you begin to die at like the four hour mark? Yeah, uh... The environment out here does not sustain human life. Alright, kill the guide. He what? should have told us this. What do you mean? What? It's totally survivable. Yeah, we just go back and fucking get supplies now that we're not getting harassed. Bro said, I drive into the wastes. Yeah. And loaded um, all our gear and said, cool, they're gonna die within two hours. I'm not done yet. After this time has passed, you must make survival tests each hour or suffer fatigue equal to degrees of failure. It doesn't damage you at all, it just gives you fatigue. Don't you pass out if you hit, like, max fatigue? Yeah, and then you wake up again. So it just makes you sleepy? Uh, kinda. It makes you exhausted and, like, pass out and... Arrested. Yeah. Sounds like something our guide should have told us. Uh, it's not really a mechanic that can be told. It's more of a... This environment will wear on your body. You will need to have uh, an appropriate amount of water and uh, adequate coverings. And you should be fine. I suggest you uh, take off the heavy armor while we're just traveling. It's not good for your health. I want a good craftsmanship luminant capacitor. It goes up to rare. Ah. 
Can we wrap this up soon? I want to go to bus. Yeah, I need to go to the shops. Oh, okay. Don't oh. Very, very well. You know, dear. As we drive into the desert and drive into the sun. Meow. And I incinerate the guide in the car. What the fuck? No, please. Yeah. He's going so to far be. He's proven to be trying to kill us. The Victor one thing he's it. done. He's gonna be so interesting soon. I swear to fucking God. He refused to tell us that we will die within the hour if we don't change. He didn't refuse, we didn't actually ask. <sighs> it's just so suspicious. We literally killed a guy on the street. He's like, hello! <laughs> Would you like to be a guide? I feel like that <laughs> you situation. You absolutely could have said no. Yeah. I feel like in that situation, it's more or less like, uh, we kind of fucking need this man, so he still showed up. Well, you see, he saw opportunity. He saw that we look pimping and we were willing to murder a man in front of the sanctuary. Yeah, it was probably like, hell yeah, these guys can these kill guys some can things out in the survive. desert for me. That, that's a business opportunity, right? He there. may be your guide, <laughs> but you're his safe passage. Anyways, I'm get going the back. feeling he's gonna get the Donjon Rask and Dungeon Donjon Rask and Why? Sweet. He can become a wear rat. Yeah, Donjon Rask and cool as fucking you're like, let's leave him here with the wear rats. <laughs> oh, sh shove off. I don't care about it. <laughs> no, no, the. Um, there was like no way for you guys to fucking win this shit. No, not at all. It was either... The were rats were like, Can you help us? Oh wait, for you. you XP. the shrine? Hey. Uh, the shrine uh, had like four ogres on it. You guys were like level two. I could take four ogres. I'm not gonna lie, boys. It's <laughs> very fire, tempting right? to get maglev coils. Oh, and That's then when you get back, the, the were rats say they were lying. And are not gonna leave. Uh... <laughs> I was like, intentionally <laughs> to tell them to F off. <laughs> but Don John Raskin's like, no, I'm a Giga Chad. I'll stay here and I'll fight the Wervis myself. Each of you, except for Jesse, can have 250 XP. Hey. Just psychic dodge the bolt gun. You're right. right. Just psychic bolt gun. Is that enough EXP to get flame, bro? Oh, bad is. math. Is that three 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 zero? No. I'm at three four two zero. Oh. Yeah, should be that. Three four two zero. Yeah. Wrestling. I did. I did it backwards. See everyone next time. Yeah, backwards. Yeah, bye. Yeah. Huh. Trying to create a god. Uh, give me a minute. I'm sad none of you went to Vaughn Ass Crimson for help, but it's kind of unreasonable for you to go that far. Yeah, it's like that's a massive amount of distance away.